You know me. We need to see the intro. It's tradition. We did this for Star Ocean 2, remember? Or Star Ocean 3. We had to put in disc 1, watch the intro, then put in disc 2. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> replace the old Baka with a GG. I don't really want to mess with commissioning emotes for bit emotes. I just, I just, they're so rarely used. You know, like somebody, I would have to dish out like $500 to use it. You know, like, and people do that sometimes. It's nuts. It's rare, but it's, it, oh, yeah, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Like the, the current Baka is 25,000 bits. I just don't feel like that that's a reasonable thing to assume that people tons of people are going to do that some people will do that and I will always be grateful never not be but those emote slots a lot of channels don't really use them because it's just that there, there's too much of a barrier of entry for them in my opinion so I don't want to commission emotes for those slots, to be quite honest. Here we go. Now we get... Now we get the intro. Now we get the intro. We're going to do our wheel spins after the first break, so if you're waiting for the wheel spins, uh, those will happen after the first break. You wish you could see the thresholds? They're on Twitch's website it's um, 1,000 5,000 10,000 25,000 50,000 75,000 100,000 and then it just goes up in 100k increments Don't mind me just entering your barrier <laughs> <laughs> yo Seamus thanks for 100 bits man oh yeah set yeah yeah me too I make them all way lower Racco. Same darkens. I just threw extras in there. Just so for for the people, the rare people that have those really high thresholds, they get something out of it. But I mean, the people that have those really high thresholds aren't giving bits to get emotes. They're doing it because they like the community and this, you know, the channel. So it's just like, eh. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. It's going to tell us to switch the discs. Yeah, that intro is always good. Every, every week. Every time, every week, that intro is good. Please insert this too. All right. Ready to roll. We are in an exceptionally difficult area called Chronopolis. That's where we got last night. As always, the music is freaking amazing. <laughs> Uh, story-wise, apparently this is some kind of location, um, in the year 2400 AD, where technology has run rampant, 
in a good and bad way. But it had an interesting implication that I discussed last night. The only reason this place could possibly exist is rather complex. But we know this game is a sequel to Chrono Trigger, right? We know in Chrono Trigger, in 1999, Lavos destroys the world. We know in Chrono Trigger, you travel to 2300 AD and the whole world is just a desolate apocalypse. It's a wasteland. Um, for this place to exist in 2400 AD means that the only reason it exists is because the kids from Chrono Trigger succeeded in stopping Lavos. So all the implications of this game are directly a result of Chrono and his friend's success in the first game. None of this technology, this research, any of this could have happened without them saving the world. So this is going to start creating some interesting scenarios and questions that come about based on the first game. <clears throat> what do I think that's the best intro, Darkens? Which game? Do you mean like in it, like cutscene before starting the game or like first cutscene? Because there's kind of a difference there. Perhaps what we are doing is wrong. If this experiment succeeds, we'll be able to control time. We'll have complete control over history and, in, in a sense, become a presence much like God. So what meaning is there to the history of mankind? But it's too late now. We can't afford to fail. If for some reason anything goes wrong, the anti-annihilation energy will probably overwhelm us. Who knows what the consequences may be? Ooh. Thanks for the host, Diablo and Loki. How are you? Cutscene before starting the game. Okay, thanks for clarifying. Um, hmm. Diablo, how are you today, buddy, by the way? That's a good question, Darkens. There's a lot of really good ones. I think one of the ones that really stands out to me is Lunar, Silver Star Story Complete. It's, it's so like, I don't know, it's kind of hokey, but at the same time, it's massively nostalgic and it's a good song. <laughs> I think that one kind of stands out. This game ranks up there too. This game was easily like top five for me. You just got home from a pointless shift at work. Your truck was late, never ended up showing. Are you an unloader, a truck unloader? Is that a door up? No, it's not. Okay. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything here before I run off somewhere else. Yeah, this music is badass. All right, I think we're good in this area. The Final Fantasy VIII hype-up video is better than the game. I disagree, but the Final Fantasy VIII hype-up video was really good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I used to work retail, Diablo. I know what that's like. do this all right that's better i feel like i've been shouting too much which means i need to lower the game volume and kind of balance mine higher i think that's better so when you use stone weapons and machines they all auto crit so that's working in my favor as you can see Handheld remake of Lunar Silver Stars. <laughs> Story of the intro music wasn't nearly as good. Yeah, I heard that game in general wasn't as good. <coughs> Having so many characters turned you off from it, Vasotech? Yeah, I can respect that. Um, I would say that's one of the things about this game I wish they had done better with. There's a lot of characters. They're all great, but since there's so many, you don't get a lot of character development from them. You don't really learn a lot. Once you get them on your team, not much else happens with them, unless you have to do like their quest to get their level seven tech. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. Quite burpy today. That always happens when I have a uh, dairy. 
All right, I don't know how to get in that elevator yet. <clears throat> so I think we gotta go this way. They have lines in their specific accent if you have them in the party. Right, they will react to things happening in game for sure. Last time I went this way and it wouldn't let me go any further. <clears throat> Is this Final Fantasy 7? No, this is Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross. Right here. On um, PS1. As you can see, the case is pretty bad shape, but... The discs are spotless. Oh, there's four enemies here. Okay. That's a problem. I'm gonna need some AOE. You enjoy an angry orchard, unfiltered, hard cider Diablo. Ah, there you go, buddy. Enjoy your beverage, your tasty beverage. Let's hit this guy. Uh, murder fuck. Loki was responding to Diablo. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right. Can we do a single enemy? Luminaire is all, right? It is, okay. This looks really cool. Check this out. <laughs> Nice. That was pretty good damage. All right. Forgot to turn on dynamic cam. There we go. Uh, I have not Diablo. I don't drink soda. I've not tried those. Screws and denitorites. Stanwise surge is the same as Link's except for his element. I believe so. Yeah. And he's got 40 strength. So he's, he's, I guess I've gotten lucky in his stat growth, supposedly. Same for Rocky there, who's... 35 strength is pretty decent, and 30 magic, which is really good. <laughs> you wish you could kick the hobbit, but your mom works for Pepsi. Oh, God. Yeah, that would make it hard, wouldn't it? I couldn't go in this door last night because I probably was just misclicking. This is where I need to go. I think. Oh, good. Security level two locks. Release the lock. All right. This looks like a lock. Doesn't do anything. Dun, dun, dun. Bweep. Let's go this way. That's a good stake. Now your portable scrap remover is looking for any remaining stake you might have missed. You mean your cat? <laughs> your cat, right? <laughs> oh, amazing. That cat is eating good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Portable scrap remover. It's one of those it's funny because it's true kind of things. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, security level two locked. Okay. So we can go that way. Oh, that's not a door. All right. We're going this way. Oh, wow. That's L90 right there. Check that out. Originally, El Nido was nothing but ocean. Nido or Nido? Make a snack. Give me a snack, Flare. The El Nido archipelago is purely artificial, created by fate. Hi, 
I asked this question when we started out. I was like, how the hell did this place become so prominent in such short amount of time? Um, because this is only like 20 or 40 years after Chrono Trigger. The El Nido Archipelago is purely artificial created by fate. Fate, the name of their program or AI or whatever it is they have here. 4D beings? Something like that, yeah. Oh man, Diablo, yeah. There's a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. Plan to include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, Black Dragon Isle. The development of elements using the energy of the natural world. The distribution of memory terminal devices called the records of fate that could survey and guide people's lives. Those are literally the save points. The pyramids that we use to save are the records of fate. <laughs> the freaking save points are part of the game. <laughs> uh. Duh. What are you talking about, Lorelana? The research center staff who had their memories of the future erased left the center and began the life outside amidst nature. This is how Fate's Paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, Fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. Everything was in perfect harmony. That is until 14 years ago when a boy came into contact with the flame on the night of the storm. Whoa. Okay. The boy came in contact with the Crimson Flame, AKA Lavos, the boy being Chrono. Oh man. That's crazy. That is crazy, okay. Where was the lock release for the elevator? My mind's been blanking out lately. All right, we did it. So everyone that lives in this game is descendants from scientists who, whose minds were wiped 10,000 years ago. What the fuck? <laughs> Are they saying Chrono screwed up the future? Yeah, I think so. Kind of. That's the vibe we're getting out of this. This place seems to exist outside of time because supposedly this is in the year 2400 AD, which could only exist if Chrono does save the world, right? Hmm. But we know with all the time travel happening, in Chrono Trigger, that means that all of those timelines still exist concurrently, parallel with each other. So, if technology... We just saw that NPC say earlier that they found the method of controlling time. So, if technology existed where they were able to control time, then they would have been able to put themselves outside of it and all the shifts of time and interact with the timelines. There's... that We need more information right now. We need more information. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Holy hell. Uh, time travel is a mindfuck, yeah. What do we got in here? Like a locker room? There's a mysterious being inside? Yo, Seamus, thanks for 100 bits. But would you have broken it if you hadn't said anything? Uh... Yeah, I think. I don't get it. <laughs> Thanks for 100 but bits. But would you have broken it if I hadn't said anything? That'll really twist your noodle. Number 085. Boom. 
We have to bring someone here that knows what this is. What the fuck is this? Okay. Bring someone here that knows what this is. Enter lock release code. No. I don't know what the lock release code is. I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, we're gonna have to come back here. It's gonna be 69 or 42. Could be, yeah. Could be. That was kind of a mind fuck, not gonna lie. At least we have elevator access now. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We have to bring someone who knows what this being is. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh. Being when saves from the future? No, I don't think so. I think you just said he was from space and like crashed here. We need to bring in a bean expert. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, wait, this was a dead end. This is where the save point was, where we could change our party members. Hmm. Tempting. Let's go save and try it. We just got to avoid combat. That's all. It's a mysterious being, so we need a bean expert. I don't get it, but I trust you. I don't get it, but I trust you. So. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Finny Bear's rolling in the monitor myself, but it's just talk to bed spaghetti. My father taught me for me. Oh. <laughs> God damn that bot. Uh, that makes no sense. <laughs> what in the world? All right, we need someone who knows what this is. Let's bring a scientist and an alien. All right. We're just spitballing right now. We have no, absolutely no frame of reference here at all we just gotta make sure we don't fight anything Beep. what's up crystal silence of the hams oh my goodness quote Corit crystal sin yeah we need more crystal sin typos in chat we really do uh shit this is a little sketchy. You were lurking till the bot outed you? Feels bad. I cannot believe this. It is an ancient super weapon. I do recall my butter talking about this. About a super weapon that was excavated near ancient ruin. Okay. There were not enough parts to complete it, but this shows a device. Okay. Jensen's exclusive weapon? Jensen? Who the fuck is Jensen? She says bring Jensen here. I don't know who that is. Are we getting your controller? What are you doing? Cleaning it? Well, I brought the right person, sort of. Woo! Oh, I gotta go in the elevator. Whoops. I have a Jensen in my party. Oh, I, if I do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 
All the characters are renamed, so I don't... Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll have to figure that out. You have to replace a slider and a GameCube controller. What's a slider? Other than a White Castle burger. Who the hell's Jensen? You say I have Jensen? Who's Jensen? <laughs> Are you sure? Um, Jensen's makes good sandwiches. Never heard of it. Jensen and bottom row. Blue dude. Oh, his name literally is Jensen. How about that? Is this on the right thing? Hold on. Something looks off to me. Let me check something here. Let me check something here. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm just dumb futzing with the sampling. Yeah, that's the best one. Okay. I was like, this doesn't quite look right, but it does. It's actually right. All right, Jensen. So I refer to the component on the back of the motherboard, which allows analog input for the left and right triggers. Oh, interesting. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so apparently we figured out Jensen is the guy named Jensen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Uh, what do you know? Crazier things have happened. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. Ancient super weapon. It was a development of poor. Looks complete. Receive Jensen's strong arm. Okay. I wonder what the hell those are for. All right, hold on. Just for the memes. There you go, chat. 69. Error. Damn. 69 is never an error video game, all right? God. <laughs> it's never an error. How dare you say that? Uh, nice. Yeah, thank you. Single foe. Secret weapon banned by the poor army. Okay, there you go. That's for you. I should give what's her name? The Hydra. It would have been funny with 69. Oh, man. I forgot that someone named Orla Pants. And Stina is Crab. Don't ask. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't me. I didn't pick these names. <laughs> All right. All right, we need to go change our party back. You said it brings someone related to poor? I think Norris was related to poor. Pretty sure. Ah! Sorry, he almost got me. It scared me. Since you got it, you can see what other lines are. Go ahead, if you want. I don't know if I want to keep using Nikki as good as he is. Let's look at stats. Is Link's back in his body? I honestly have no idea. We fought evil guy, right? And he's like, okay, I'm bored with you. I'm leaving. And then he left and we went to the top of the fort and got our body back, but we never saw Link's. So I don't know. That's up in the air at the moment. That is question marks. See, look at his stats. Man, he rolled really good. 30 magic. 90 accuracy. She's got 31. Like, he's almost as good as her with magic. 
does more physical damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. She rolled insane with strength. 41. <laughs> we got Bob the fairy, who was pretty good in the beginning. I don't know if they'll still be good, though. They had really strong uh, techs. No, the mermaid was ban reg. This is the mermaid. She was pretty decent because she had like an AOE magic defense buff. I was going to look into using her. Let's take a look at her more detailed stats. I don't know if we want to use her or not. What do you think about pants? <laughs> it's 11 stamina recovery, 90 accuracy, 411 hit points, 38 strength, 35 resist. Uh, magic's going to be bad. She's going to be just physical, but I don't know. She might be good. I don't know. Pants is all she's got. She's got like, uh, you know, those, what are those called? Those athletic things. I don't know. Muscular, but only 119 pounds. Yeah, the weight's always off in this game. It always, it's always off. <laughs> She's also water element. She's five foot five, 120 pounds. So, yeah. She's taller than you are. Lori Lana calls herself a chipmunk. Yeah, she's got the booty pop. You know, that's that's a plus. <laughs> I like it. Miss Attribute over here just picked up right on that. <laughs> uh, she's got the bounce. <laughs> Look at this is the kind of gal I would hang out with. She's a gladiatrix barkeep. So she's the bartender and the bouncer in one. You don't fuck with this lady. You mess up in her bar, you're going to get your ass kicked. <laughs> You're going to get this shit kicked out of you by her. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to try her out. So I've, I've convinced myself, chat. And we're going to try out pants. As fun as the double tech with Tammy and, uh, and it Rocky are. I kind of want to mix it up. What if you want to get bodied by her? She'd probably make it quick and not give you any satisfaction then. You know? Oof, yeah. Yeah, you know. Alright, she's got the stone equipment, so that's good. Never tried pants before, I know, right? It's, it's wild. Power seal. Five more attack power. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do we have a blue brooch? No, we don't. Okay. Dragoon's Honor is nice because it gives attack and hit. Or I could give her even more attack. Jeez. You could stack attack on her. I kind of want to give her the stamina belt. I don't think I have one, though. Dreamer Scarf is nice. This is evasion. I think I gave the belt to uh, her. Yeah, she has the stamina belt. All right, so I'll give her a stamina ring. That makes her stamina recovery plus one. Defender, no. Dragoon's honor. Yeah. Let's see if she's good. Why not? She might be awesome. Who knows? She might suck. I don't know. What are her attacks? We have to get her level seven. Multi-punch, chain and attack inherited by a single child. Okay. Punch drunk. Drunken master attack taught by her parents. Okay, I don't have her level seven. If you know how to get her level seven, you can tell me. I forgot to use Cure All. Level 5 All Allies. Only if innate color blue restores HP large. Oh, that's fucking good. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's fucking good. Yo. Yo, that is good. So she'll be an AoE healer in a pinch, you know? In a pinchy pinch. Her parents were drunk martial artists. Eh? Hey, I don't judge. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah, I definitely want her level 7 tech. And I probably have to do something to get it. I could give her frog prints. Iceberg. Iceberg. Oh, the music. The music. I just like it so much. Your Chrono Cross character, Loki, would be 4'4", four four, 105 pounds. Okay. You're very small. Very small. Pure, pure, how about a purify? Uh, let's get some status stuff. How about turn red? <clears throat> You turn red, turn red, turn red, turn red. Just sort, just sort them all. There's turn blue, where's turn red? There's turn red. Weekend, um, anti-red. And... The Chrono Cross character be five foot two and weigh 31 pounds. <laughs> Yo, DP. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, we're going to have to get that looked at, buddy. <laughs> Goldo of Homeworld. All right. I will head that way. If I can get out of here, that is. The big if, right? Hook her up with some nostrum. Don't really want to give her attack magic, just utility. What did I just do? I hate when that happens. It makes a noise like I did something and I don't know what it was. Seamus is grumping. Get a burger and DP. Yeah, man. Let's get you some some of that steak darkens had. <laughs> uh, you small chunk. Yeah, you a small chunk. Chunk is one of my favorite, favorite. What are you getting? What kind of pizza? Deep dish is garbage around there? Okay. Normal pizza. Ask for pepperoni, extra sauce, garlic salt. Um, and then for some fiber, you could put either yeah, some spinach on it. Or you could do some green peppers and like black olives. Get a little veggies on there. That'd be pretty solid. I mean, pretty solid. Just make sure you get the extra sauce. That's the thing that they always skimp on on pizza joints. They don't put enough sauce on it, and that it's not as good. It ends up getting dry. You want the extra sauce? That's the key. You like peppers? You cannot do olives. Don't do olives. You can do spinach instead. Then. Spinach is good. As long as they don't put the spinach on after. I've seen them do that where they just put whole spinach leaves on. I'm like, no, you got to bake it with the pizza. <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> Dude, spinach works really well baked into pizza. It does. Highly underrated.
Yeah, I'm just gonna fill her with utility. Utility. Um, medicine. You like medicine? No. Okay. Turn green. Turn yellow. Lower resist. Like, all I really want on her is heal, so. Weak minded there. Perfect. All right. Pants is ready to go. Let's get out of here and get Pants as high level tech. Well, to teach that 16 year old pizza engineer what's about what's what about pizza? You got extra sauce, peppers, garlic, salt, spinach. That's pretty much all you need. But if you want to go a little extra, you could also have chopped onions as well. Chopped onions are really good. Remember, they got to be baked on the pizza, not put on after the fact. Go down? No. No, that's... I don't need to do that anymore. I can just go this way. You prefer less sauce? Ugh. Just dry, flavorless pizza that way. All you're doing is eating dough. Dough with toppings. I mean, if you have, like, legitimate, like, allergy concerns or gastrol concerns because of the acid acidic nature of the tomato sauce on pizza, I get it. Then I totally get it. But sauce is one of the biggest, if not the biggest part of what makes a pizza good. And if you just put plain old pizza sauce that's not seasoned on there, you fucked it up. <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> uh, all right, you said, um, what was the hint? Where was the hint? Do 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 do. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Scrolling up, scrolling up. Where's my hint? Oh, uh, I think I missed it. <laughs> Somebody said one of the homeworld towns. Uh, Bolitra says your level seven hint, Goldo of homeworld. Okay, cool. Not marble, Goldo. Here we go. Ham, pineapple, cheese, that's all. Blech. Doesn't have extra sauce, not good. There's still enough sauce usually? Oh man. You wouldn't like a Chicago stuffed pizza, let me tell you. All right, let's just visit every house and figure this out. <laughs> well, this looks promising. She's not Tia. Tia's twin sister, Pants. <laughs> God damn it. Hold on a sec. What is going on? What's going on, man? Do, 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 do. Let me see Tia. I can feel her even though we live in different worlds. Tia is here. I beg you. Your eyes tell me you speak the truth, man. I understand. For me to visit, but realize one thing. It'll be a painful reunion, Pants. She has to meet her sister. All right. It's it's me, Pants, your sister. <laughs> her voices cannot reach her. Oh, that was bad. Beezus? That is a name. Wow. You have sauce, Lorelano? There you go. It's his pants. <laughs> oh, no. 
pants his pants I was having a long dream pants they were everywhere they were smothering me I couldn't breathe there were so many of them blue jeans as far as the eye could see twin sisters born on the same planet Watching everything from my dreams. The yeah, character portrait art in this is so good, yeah. It's super good. Oh no! My spirit will always be with you. Oh boy. Feels bad. What's up, Drown Wolf? How are you, dude? Yeah, this game has kind of a dual world thing going on. Something happened in the past. Most likely related to Chrono destroying Lavos and Chrono Trigger that split the timeline in two. Truly bodacious, man. He totally just said bodacious. Pants is too sad in her final words. She'll always be with you, man. Even though your worlds are different, you two are truly sisters that will never change. Bodacious, dude. <laughs> You can't say bodacious when people just saw their sister die, all right? Oh, it's the gem. Okay, cool. We've been wanting that. Now, pants, open your hands. That sounded accidentally lewd somehow. <laughs> the blue brooch. Ooh, nice. That was super bodacious. Pants don't have hands. It says you. Have you ever looked? Did you ever specifically look at pants trying to find their hands, Lorelana? I bet you haven't. Uh, no, actually, Doc, bro, just like used to bring the pharmaceuticals, you know, dude? A <laughs> pizza ordered, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You almost said pants ordered. You could do that too if you want. It probably wouldn't taste very good though. So she's alive. The blue gem binds us as sisters and contains the prayers of mother and father. The split gem has crossed the worlds and become one. Uh huh. Pants has learned sisterhoods. Okay. That's what we were looking for. Boom, 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 boom. Keep cool, pants. <laughs> This name is so dumb. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't even. Sisterhoods. Inherited technique performed by two sisters. Right on, man. Right on. All right. We're good. That's what we wanted. Oh, the soundtrack never stops being good. In 20 years, the soundtrack has never stopped being good. 
crazy. Whee! All right, go on the fate distortion. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a steer moment, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> uh, are they now soul sisters? They are, yeah. It's true. See? Look. Chronopolis Military Research Center, 2400 AD. 401 years after Chrono and those kids stopped Lavos. There is a lot of implications we're going to be learning tonight, I hope. But for now, I want to take my first break. You saw 10 minutes of the game? I think it was one of those games that just got tons of copies made. For whatever reason. To the point that it's still cheap today. Dude, the story of Katamari was hilarious. <laughs> that game was awesome. Uh, it was so stupid, but that's, I mean, it obviously didn't take itself seriously because it wasn't supposed to. You're literally rolling a ball over people and cities. Like, the game is nuts by design. <laughs> King of all hedonism. Yeah, he was like hedonism bot from Futurama. <laughs> Dark Cloud sold failure well. Yeah, it was on their greatest hits. Uh, let's hit up the basement. Please present the central lab zone registration card. Okay, let's not hit up the basement. Let's go to the third floor. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that, that the character was amazing. <laughs> As much as you love the game, you had no idea it was popular. I didn't. I'd never played any Katamari before, so that was a first for me. Interesting. We found ourselves another lab. Is that a brain? Brains? Model of brain analysis. Model of brain evolution. Model of brain behavior. Model of lower animal brain. <clears throat> Man. This game really delves into some dark topics, doesn't it? Like the utilization of such research for things nobody should have control over. Model of brain memes. Katamari is about consumerism or something. I don't know if it has a specific hidden meaning or not. I couldn't tell you. I just know I, I wouldn't think too hard on what the game stands for. But, I mean, if the artist intended us for to do that, it went way over my head. Because it was just silly fun. <clears throat> we control human emotions by using neurotransmitters. It means by manipulating the nerve transmitters inside their brains, it's possible to control the feelings and even the personalities of humans. I have no idea, Senpai. <laughs> that was like two and a half years ago. Uh, Fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come into contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take into their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and feelings. What the fuck? <laughs> That's 10,000 years of humanity in the El Nido continent. Right? And those stupid save points are rewriting our brains. Holy shit. Memory scanning and rewriting is not that difficult a thing. As a matter of fact, it's possible to simulate the thoughts and feelings of each individual. These are all just electric signals that flow around the circuitry of the brain after all. The vessels of flesh can be reproduced through cloning. And the soul stored within these fleshy vessels can be simulated as well. 
Thus, one could even go so far as to say that death itself no longer exists. Of course, the expiration of an individual being, being as a variation within the species still occurs. Overall, we can reverse the old maxim and say that where there is no death, there will be life. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. The lifeforms in this planet developed from single-celled microorganisms to protozoans, and from fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, and eventually to humans. Beginning with a cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals, the anthropod brain enlarged at an accelerating pace until it became the human brain we know. Could the reason for the abnormal development of the human brain be the biological contamination caused by lavos? That would mean that humans are really a heterogeneous life form or foreign matter as far as the planet is concerned. Humans are a sudden mutation caused by the contact with Lavos, an alien life form that fell to this planet from space. We basically already knew that from Chrono Trigger. We knew that Lavos had been directing and absorbing all the evolutionary advantages from 65 million BC and on. So... What? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's in Chrono Trigger, yeah. I think you learned that in the uh, Zeal Kingdom. I think. We're a variation in the species? Yeah, that could be too, yeah. That could be. It could be that the characters are the variation. That is why humans are, biologically speaking, unbalanced and half-finished. Internally inconsistent and disconnected, the human existence is plagued by contradictions. An incomplete species torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self-contradictory. From the planet's viewpoint, humans are just destroyers and a cursed, yet perhaps pathetic, blight on the world. <laughs> oh man, this is wild. Hey, let's all lava's fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But humans were pretty primitive in that game, if you remember. Oh dear. Maybe we'll go that way later. <laughs> That's a big boy standing right there. Crazy. There's a lot of crazy implications going on here. He definitely looked mean, yeah. We'll, I think we're gonna have to fight him, but I'm looking around first. DNA, the seeds of life. <clears throat> the human body is made up of 50 to 60 billion cells. Each of these cells contains genes in the form of DNA. These are the fundamental building blocks that exist inside the cell's chromosomes, right? They store genetic information that can be passed on from parent to child. The structure of DNA is common throughout all life, throughout all universes. <clears throat> okay. That's a logic jump right there. Through DNA recombination, life forms take on differing forms with variable abilities. All right. Any more? Humans and reptites. 65 million years ago, the reptites who evolved from reptiles had developed their own unique civilization. This was long before the ancestors of humans who evolved from primates had developed their civilization. Excavations carried out on the central continent of Xenon have revealed that the reptites already had advanced architectural skills in the prehistoric era. True, we saw that in, um, what was the name of that place? Um, it was like Xenon or something like that, right? I can't remember the name. It's like right dead center in the middle of the world in 65 million. Be Tyrannal Lair? Yeah, that's what it was. Tyrannal Lair, yeah. It was basically like a huge bone stone fortress. It was massive.
The fall of Lavos to the planet and the resulting ice age has brought about, rang the death knell for the reptites and their civilization. After that, the reptites slowly disappeared from the stage of history. However, in the distant past, humans could have been defeated in the contest of evolution, and the reptites could have continued to develop. It is not unthinkable that such a timeline could exist in other dimensions. Everything is purely a problem of possibilities, and the world is only stabilized by the viewpoint of the one who observes it. Lavos. Oh, the big boy himself. Reptite ending was one of the endings in Chrono Trigger? It was, yeah. Extraterrestrial life form that is thought to have fallen from the heavens 65 million years ago. On the timeline that existed before history was changed, Lavos was assumed to have slept deep below the planet's surface. Sleeping and consuming the planet's energy up until the day of destruction known as the Apocalypse. There are those who believe that 12,000 years ago, the legendary ancient magical civilization known as Zeal came into contact with Lavos. True. We know that happened. Uh, I was... Queen Zeal with her daughter Shala. Fateful encounter is said to have resulted in Zeal disappearing from the surface of the planet within the space of a single night. However, the very existence of the ancient civilization of Zeal has never been proven, so up till this day, this theory cannot be confirmed. Hmm. On some timelines, Lavos appeared on the surface of the planet in the year 1999 and brought the world to ruins. However, a group of young time travelers saw where their planet's history was heading and through their actions rewrote time. This very research facility exists on that new timeline. So that's what I said when we got here. In a world where, thanks to the defeat of Lavos by the young adventurers, the apocalypse never happened. On a temporal vector where human civilization continued to evolve unhampered. All the data on Lavos that was obtained from tracing different parallel world possibilities has proven to be volatile with fluctuating discrepancies. Perhaps at this point in time, it is nearly impossible to obtain any true information about Lavos. Fuck me. <laughs> This is heavy. Holy shit. The DNA records are poems and music. Adenine and thymine, guanine and cytosine, rhythm and melody. Perhaps the DNA of the ones who make contact with the flame is recomposed by the sound they generate within. What if life forms are just dreaming in an endless flow of music? Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> uh, wow. Ooh, treasure. <gasps> Rainbow shell. <clears throat> we haven't found any of those shiny bits though, so can't really use them. Can't really use them. Well, that was freaking fascinating. Jeez. <clears throat> it's interesting, though, to think that humanity advanced so far that they were able to create this, like, temporal anomaly itself. <clears throat> this whole area that exists outside of the flow of time. I don't really know why it's frozen here yet. Well, maybe we'll find out. All right, we got a big boy over here. Hello. Damn, I was gonna try to run around him. I was gonna try to skip him. Well, we get to try out pants. Oh, there's two. Oh, good. Perfect. Combots. All right, combots. Holy shit, she's strong. <laughs> Oh my god! What the fuck? Did you see how much damage she did? <laughs> oh my god! Okay! Yo, I need to heal. Yo, give me- get, 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 Let me do a heal! 
Oh, jeez, these multi-hit attacks are the worst. Here we go. Hell yeah. What's up, sweeps? Wow. Okay. She's working out. Sisterhoods. Let's do sisterhoods. I need to see what this looks like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she is fucking busted. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, well, she's staying on the team. Dang. <laughs> I think we found our team. Holy hell. <laughs> God. I was not expecting that level of strength. I thought she was going to be like comparable to Guy. You know, just like close. Oh man, she keeps missing. Oh, you know what it is? She's blue element, so she's getting extra damage. What's up, Greeny? What's up? She knocked the pants right off of him. Literally, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Damn, the miss. Okay, that was weird. A heal. Du, 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 du. You were told you're tired. You were told you don't work enough today. Man, who the fuck told you that? Give him a good junk punch. He's right, in, right in the jimbles. Don't actually do that. <laughs> Man. All right, we win. Burra, how you doing today? Tammy got strength and agility. She needs magic. You got HP, HP resistance. All right. Two Infernos. Hellbound. I don't know what that is. Who walks... I What I want to know is who walks into a store and says, can I work for a day? That never works out. <clears throat> There's no way that could ever work out. <laughs> That's a dumbass question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, like I get it when times are tough, you do what you gotta do. But if you go, if your first impression of a place is you walk in and ask to work for just one day, how well do you think that's actually gonna work out? Like it's, ugh. It's pretty cringy. Uh, what was I gonna look at here? Elements, I think. <clears throat> oh yeah, cause I just got an element, right? from uh what the hell did i get from that chest who saw it did anyone see what i actually got in that chest <laughs> i i didn't look hellbound thank you thank you oh man oh that's terrible okay all of that to get a really lousy lousy element all right fair enough well at least we know <clears throat> <sighs> he wanted to work one day a week just for the discounts. Oh, oh man. 
Oh man. Yeah. That's scary. Beep. Let's go to the fourth floor. <clears throat> Dude, how much is a discount? Do you need someone to work a day? I'm just kidding. I don't want another job. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Stop, go, why? OMG. We have an OMG already. It's just called wow. Okay, Burr, tell me what those would look like. Because I can't visualize them. Give me an idea. All right, what do we got in here? Cutscene. Everyone gather around, okay? Let's see. In the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. So that's what the Large Hadron Collider was about. <sighs> Somebody needs to go find Luca. <laughs> uh, to depression era habits, some people still recommend offer to work for a company for free to show them how hard your work. They'll probably hire. Yeah. No. That 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 was recommended because unemployment was like 25% and money was worthless. <laughs> it was a completely different situation. The recommendation was people trying to steal from their workers. Yeah, pretty much. Whether this can actually be possible or not is still the subject of intense debate and no conclusions have been made. Okay. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pulls in everything else into a ring formation. <clears throat> Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space time. I've heard that the time egg already existed during the legendary ancient dynasty. I mean, I already have one you could use for Kappa anyway. I don't need Kappa, right? We just use this one. That's, you just use Smug. I've heard that the time egg already existed during the legendary ancient dynasty. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from ancient civilization that may have not even existed. We can do this. But it's been said that there was all the time was altered using the time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The time egg. Okay, big Chrono Trigger spoiler. If you haven't played it, you don't want to hear this. Hands up. Hand goes down when I'm done. <clears throat> the time egg in Chrono Trigger, from what I recall, was utilized by the team in order to undo the death of Chrono. Um, I don't remember the exact details, but Chrono dies, and you need the time egg from the Guru of Time, I believe, in order to reverse it. Okay. <clears throat> Spoiler's done. I don't remember many details about it, only that it was like the item MacGuffin that he, you get, you know? So that's all I remember. The experiment should be starting soon. After we discovered an unusual gravitational field in this barren sea of El Nido, we built several artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research, but now our research is about to come to its end. Once the final adjustments are made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. 
This chief hasn't returned yet. He hasn't. We'll have to hold off until he gets back. Hmm. I think that time is not absolute, but elastic, relative and subjective. That there can be individual differences caused by changes in time. Perhaps the same people and life forms can even exist in several different time space times. The multiverse theory? An independent time that flows with a will of its own. What nonsense. What about your other recommendations? Crazy Blue Bear waving his arms like crazy and eyes flashing. Um, so are you talking about animated emotes? Because we already have five for now. Or are you talking about static ones? What's up, Calisice? Reg's here too. Hi, Reg. Regison is Lavos. It's true. He's Lavos. All right, that's a door out. I'm not leaving yet. Okay, that just shows the demonstration of the black hole. Uh, we're conducting a simulation of phase metastasis. Sure. Me too. Yeah, that's that's my that's what I call my streaming career. Uh, yeah. <laughs> His research center was established under the utmost secrecy by the central regime. Okay. We may appear to be a military research center, but we're actually conducting research on time. Jeez, being able to control history in the future is nuts. Just a crazy implication. The lost ancient magic civilization of Zeal. If it really did exist, someone may have even traveled through time to this period. Yeah, I wonder. Someone may have actually done that. How about that? How about that? Huh. The ties to Chrono Trigger in this game are very close. But in a way, unexpected. Magnify. That's not that good. Chief said he was going out for a walk. He's probably by the dock somewhere gazing out to sea. <laughs> All right, we're going to fight. Let's go. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. All right, I want to start out with pants because she's busted. My God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bonk. Jesus. Yeah, we like her. <laughs> oh my God. She's drunk. Yeah. Donnie Darko, I've seen it. It's wow! Is that movie a mind fuck? All right, what are you saying about the chief now? All right, just talking about the dogs. All right, so that was just to get a magnify element. Nothing exciting. This this door is locked. So all right, fair enough. Away we go. Do -do -do. You got a new PC chair and you're getting used to it. Hey, congrats. I hope it works for you. This experiment will begin soon. Please evacuate to your designated position. We'll do the same in case of an emergency. Only personnel registered as Arbiter may enter. That is clearly not me. So we are missing something here. All right, I'm going to go back in that experiment room and see if I didn't miss anything important. Or maybe I have to talk to the chief again. You met your match. You don't know where to put your new ColecoVision. You need a bigger room. Or buy some shelves. Like... 
like buy some cheap wire racks you know like four or five shelves and i know your space is limited but you could probably find a way to fit one of them somewhere <sighs> glue it to the ceiling wow what do you mean you have to hide it why do you have to hide it jesus christ move the fuck out <laughs> Get out of there. Uh, your parents don't know. Who gives a shit? You're like 20 something. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? It's none of their business. <laughs> fuck them. They don't, they're not the ones paying for it. <laughs> uh. Sorry, that was really crass, but Jesus Christ, you're a grown ass woman. It's none of their damn business. You're trying? I know you are. I know it's not easy. It's not. You have to balance buying the things that you want to make you happy versus saving up to get the hell out. And that ain't easy to do. I promise you I understand. I know how hard that is to do. If you glue it to the ceiling, people rarely look up mission saw. <laughs> uh, I'm not bullying Greenie. I'm bullying her parents. RPG chick. I'm literally bullying her parents. It's none of their business. Was there a discussion on the tier three emotes? No, not really. Still trying to decide what, what kind of theme we want to do for those. All right, they're not saying anything extra. So I must have missed something. I think we have to go talk to the chief again, but I don't know for sure. I also don't know how to open that locker. We never figured that out, did we? This place is so freaking cool, though. Take these off for now. A bit style for tier three. That's an idea. Types of drugs. What the fuck does that have to do with anything here? <laughs> no. I'm sorry. That's not a good idea. Uh, how often do I play games or do anything related to drugs here? Are you in the right channel? <laughs> uh, uh, good God. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna save. It's a good time to save. So tier one emotes, we got those five figured out. We're good there. The list that we're gonna commission is probably a. Uh, Smile emote, a numb popcorn emote, a dead emote, cool, and a baka. Uh, tier two is going to be the cat tier. So there's going to be emotes of Lickety and Mog. Commission drawn emotes, not just lazy crop pictures. I don't like those emotes, honestly. I'm not a fan. Uh, one of them is going to be Mog eating audio cables. Uh, another one's going to be Mog spinning records on DJ decks because he thinks he's an audio engineer. One of them is going to be Lickety staring into the camera like Hypnotoad. Um, another one's going to be Lickety licking. And then the last one is going to be Lickety being a diva, wearing a crown with a smug face looking down upon her subjects. <laughs> uh, so that's tier two. So now we got to figure out what we want to do with tier three. The mouse is majestic. Sure. That's fine. Like that's their channel. Whatever they want to do for their channel is great. But I don't like those kinds of emotes for my channel. Wait, what did he just say? Something Research Center appeared out of nowhere in the year 2300 and was headed up by the scientific genius Belthasar. However, at the peak of his career, he simply vanished. We've continued his work and have come this far. Our work is almost complete. Well, it's about time I headed back. The experiment's about to begin. 
Balthazar. Well, more implications. Yo, I have a question. Anyone that knows about that safe here? Was I able to find the accommodation for that yet or no? He disappeared? No, he walked away. Oh, you mean Balthazar. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you were talking about the NPC I was talking to there. What was over here again? I don't remember. Oh, it was just treasure, right? Yeah. And a cool clank, clank, clank noise. <laughs> the combination is the same as your luggage. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, so he wants a lock code. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? Excuse me? Recharge. Recovers a used element for reuse. That's actually really cool. So the, the passcode was zero, zero. What the fuck are these then? All right, whatever. Mission, mission accomplished, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? back over here when all the things are closed where is the information for that room dp just tell me a hint of not i don't want to know how to do the room just tell me where the info is access granted okay great dun, 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 dun. Oh, geez. It's this whole thing again. <clears throat> you found out from IGN. Oh. It's just squinted. I saw a boy and a flashy looking chick touching that panel. Huh. Interesting. A boy and a flashy looking chick touching that panel. What the fuck? Does the game tell me how to do that? That's what I'm asking. No? Are you sure? Because that doesn't make any sense. Zero, zero. Error. Zero, zero. Code confirmed. Okay, so it has to do with which of these are open. Let's just see if it's our, let's see if it's binary. It's not zero, one. It's not one, zero. Wait, if it's binary, hold on. One, two, four, eight, 16. Let's try 16. It's binary, okay. Nothing there. Okay. So this would be eight, right? Nothing there. So there's nothing in here? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Cinny? How are you? So these have nothing in them. All right. 
we'll try all combinations, I guess. You already got the something. So there's only one item. It doesn't change. Oh, all right. So this would be one, three, seven, 15, 31, right? All right. Yeah, it's binary. The laggers control the combo. All right. So really you get recharged there no matter what. It doesn't change. I mean, it's too late anyway, but all right. So it's just binary. That's it. NBD. No big deal. I mean, recharge seems like a pretty nice item. Cindy, you like the emote ideas? Yeah, we got to decide for tier three. Someone said to do a... Um, a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, an 8 bit theme for tier three. And I'm looking for ideas for themes for tier three that are relevant to the channel and the content, and most importantly, the community. Someone earlier said drugs, and that was about as far removed from this community as you could get. <laughs> it was so way off. Uh, I don't even understand. How many tier three slots? Five. Five for tier two, five for tier three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already read that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy, it's still going. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, teach me about DNA video game. Does he say the same thing? Yes, okay. A moody Becky. Someone else said Becky's, but I was like, here's my thoughts on that. I don't like making a paid subscription emote someone else's intellectual property. So I, I'm i never going to tell other people how to do it, but I kind of take pause at that. I really do. Do I have ideas for bid emotes? I have a ton of bid emotes, and I honestly, my idea for bid emotes is I don't care about them. They're just not, they're, you need to give too many bits to get them. It's not worth the hassle. I just don't care about them. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Bit emoji? No, I haven't thought about that yet. If you're talking about the ones where you can use the animated bits when you give bits, I haven't figured that out yet. That'll come after I get the, the sub emotes. Geared up bears. Sci-fi fantasy sci-fi bears. That's an idea. Let me put that on the list of potential ideas. Fantasy sci-fi bears. Hey Lars, how are you? Uh yeah, we're definitely enjoying this game. We just got to a very crucial part of the game. We're beginning to learn about some extreme implications. <clears throat> a ninja bear? Uh, I will ask, what does Ninja have to do with this? Anything. <laughs> what, I, I never really do Ninja anything ever, so I don't think it really fits. Sorry. <laughs> I'm bear with my sunglasses. That's tier one, Cindy. I'm looking for themes, not ideas for tier one sub emotes. I don't want tier three to just be tier one again with more slots. I don't think that's a good idea. That's not the way to do it. Doo -doo -doo. Thank you for the follow folks. I always appreciate the follows. They're always anonymous here, especially for you lurkers out there. Feel free to get comfy. You can't earn a 1 million bit emote. Stream is on watch. <laughs> No, you can't, because no one's ever given that much. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's tier one, Cinny is bears, okay? Tier two is the, the cats. What's tier three, right? Because the way I see it, I don't want to treat tier two and tier three as just more slots. I want people who actually decide, yo, I want to sub for more than just tier one to get extra out of it. So it's like tier two, cats, right? Because the cats are part of the show. What's tier three? What's tier three? Uh, a one million bit emote is 
$10,000. Loki. Right? I think so. Yeah. Because it's 10,000 cents, right? 10,000, or, yeah, it's 1 million cents. It's $10,000. Is that correct? What is that? That's a gifted tip. So, thank you. I forgot to do the wheel spins. Whoops. I'm doing my bed. $10,000. Yeah. Seamus, thank you so much for the gift sub to Crimson. Crimson, you get ad free viewing and tons of good Finny Bear emotes now. You like the 8 bit idea, Darkens? Yeah, that's on the list. Could be 8 bit. Lucky emotes. All right. Add that to the list. Lucky. These people seem like sociopaths in this place. Like, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. It's my favorite game series. Um, I don't know, Nami. That's a good question. <clears throat> I don't rightly know. There's far too many, to be quite honest. You have no idea how close anyone would even would be to be a million bits. I know exactly who would be close to that. Well, no, I know there. nobody is close to that. I know that, and I have a general idea, but that is never, ever information I would share with anyone because it's nobody's business. That. Tree city. Did I not go in here? I didn't. Oh, okay. Oh, they didn't let me go in here. That's why. That's why. Series of emotes are my favorite game characters. Hmm. Hmm. Again, I don't know if I want to do someone else's intellectual property as emotes, you know? I know other people do that, and that's fine. I just I don't know if I want to. I see where you're going with that, though. It could be like Finny Bear cosplaying as them, but I would never want to just do them, you know? Like, I'd never want to just do other... someone else's ideas. Tree Fanny! Game type emotes? How many bits are consoles up to now? I don't know that... I don't understand the question, I'm sorry. What do you mean by uh, game type emotes, Darkens? I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure figure out the intent there. Or the, the oh, not the intent, the message. You do sometimes go for the bit emote that's worth 10 bucks, depending on how much. Right. I just don't like bit emotes. I don't like the barrier, the high barrier of entry. I don't like that I can, can't can choose, you know, what the amounts are. It's just, I don't like them at all. I just don't like them. I just throw whatever at them because as far as I'm concerned, people that are going to get emotes here are going to do so through subs, not bits. The people that give lots of bits for those emotes don't do it for the emotes. They do it because they want to support the community, you know? And I have already have ways to add value to their contributions that aren't just more emote slots with huge barriers of entry. I would like bid emotes if I could set the amounts, and I can't. So they just, they've always bothered me ever since they came out. Cosplay tier? All right, let's write down cosplay tier. That's not a bad idea, huh? Kind of came from the idea I said no to, but like I said earlier, this is how we develop new ideas. So no idea is bad, because it leads to another one. 
Turn myself into an emote? No. Nope. I said five years ago, if I ever got emotes, my face would never be the emotes ever for any reason at all. <laughs> I don't like those emotes either. Not my style. If any bear cosplaying as Final Fantasy characters are your favorite classes in D&D. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, right? Yeah, kind of like that one, Valitra. Bird did retro thing. All right, hold on. If any cosplays your favorite game characters would be pretty awesome. Consoles are basically PCs now, so 64-bit. Oh, are you talking about the CPU architecture of consoles? I'm sorry, I wasn't sure where you were going with that. Back in the day, the only thing that they were talking about when it came to bits, like in the 90s, you were talking about the 90s when they said like, oh, the Super Nintendo is 16-bit, you know, all that meant was how many colors they could display on the screen. That hasn't been a thing since the 90s. Like, it really hasn't. Even PCs are like 24, 32-bit for colors. That's all you need. <laughs> like, you just don't need more than that. So, that's usually what they were always talking about. Like, case in point, NES, Super Nintendo, N64, all output the exact same resolution. It's 240p. They just can display more colors and do more things because of better internal internals, internal hardware. D, &D class cosplay Finny Bears, RPG Finny Bear, Action Finny Bear. Oh, I see what you're saying, Darkens. Like game genres. Okay, I see where you're going with that. That's kind of cool. You have bit emotes. You said about one, two, five, ten, and minus one. Oh, <laughs> did I write down eight bit tier? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Well, it was a week ago. I think it was a week ago. I think it was a week ago. It was whenever we first talked about it. Do you have any of the funny glasses? No, no. Uh -uh. Again, we're thinking of themes here for tier three. We're not thinking of just more tier one emotes. I want to add more value to people that are subscribed at a higher tier. I'm not treating tier two and tier three as just more emote slots. Because I don't think that that's a good idea. So your idea, Sweems, is already going to be commissioned as a tier one emote because it's a tier one emote. It's not a tier three. Okay, I caught up finally. Woo! <laughs> Yay! All right, we're in a new room here. They were bought out and forced to merge. Look, these are all the memory dudes. Fate is a large scale prototype completed in the year 2300. They integrated the old mother brain computer circuitry into a more powerful supercomputer. Okay. This is the observation room. This is where we observe the two parallel worlds. That's Viper Man Manor. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, Fenrir. I think everybody that had that guide felt cheated. The record of fate is exposed. What? Two worlds that are so close and yet so far in nature exist in different dimensions. Under the surveillance of the main computer of Chronopolis, fate. In other words, fate has always been observing the two parallel worlds and guiding them. Fate has been maintaining, manipulating the world of El Nido in order to avoid any major change to the history it knows. If an event in El Nido influences the main continent, the year 2400 in which fate exists would change. This is an ins this is insane levels of maintenance. 
They're basically ensuring their own timeline is stable. By manipulating it, time itself. There's a bit of irony there. Yeah, it is bold fiber manners. They got so spooked by the whole Lavos thing and the kids in Chrono Trigger changing time itself that they're manipulating time. And the irony, the freaking historical irony there is that they wouldn't have existed to begin with if Chrono and his friends hadn't saved the world. They never would have existed at all. So, oh, there's some like time paradoxes going on here. There's like a stable time loop or some sort here. <laughs> oh my God. Why is everyone shade? I don't know. This paradox could potentially lead to great disaster. The records of fate, fate's terminals, collect data from around the world and import input guidance directly into the minds of its users. In this discreet way, fate is able to control the lives of people without them knowing. Jeez. I'm going to like Shadow Hearts Crimson Raven, but I'm probably going to miss tons and tons and tons of things when I play it. I just hopefully don't want to miss main characters. Otherwise, you know, whatever. If time itself changed, could they have been able to detect time change? Because it would have always been. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. What? Uh. If El Nido isn't supposed to affect the mainland, does it mean people born there are never allowed to leave? Right, how do people get out? It only recently became accessible. All right, continuing, guided by fate, the people of El Nido lead a harmonious life. In a sense, they are nothing more than the puppets of fate. An instruction to the young girl in Arnie 01 to give up going to the main continent as a poet. An instruction to the man in Arneo 2 to give up becoming a fisherman. A plan to avoid any point of contact with the main continent so as not to affect history. However, ever since the formation of the Dead Sea 10 years ago, fate has been unable to intervene directly with World 1. That's our world, right? With Surge guy, right? That's why people have been blaming him specifically for the for some unforeseen problems. It probably is directly related to fate being unable to intervene in World 1. We're going to need a whiteboard. <laughs> if you're here for that playthrough, you're going to go hard lurk because you know a lot of secret stuff. Fair enough. Yeah, if you can't, you know, if you can't, you know, keep it, you know, if it's hard to say anything, I appreciate it. The best fate could do is cross the dimension and receive data through the records of fate. And with much difficulty, fate succeeded in binding Miguel to the Dead Sea as a watchman. That's why he turned on us. Whoa, that explains that. It didn't make any sense that he was attacking us. It was because his brain was rewritten by this fucking computer. Because that was what, Lena's dad, I think? I think it was Lena's dad was Miguel. It made no sense that he would have done that. Now it makes sense. This fucking computer rewrote his goddamn mind. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty... Oh. Alright, let's fight this. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Yo, the story in this game is freaking good. <laughs> Holy crap, people missed out. People missed out. I, I guarantee you when I played this in 03, I didn't get a damn bit of this shit. I didn't understand it at all.
It's why are they able to be invaded and why one is such a shit show now. Yeah. Crunch. Go get him, pants. Oh, that would have been the kill blow right there. This is going to hurt. That wasn't too bad. Crunch. Well, to be fair, I guess I was kind of a kid. In 03, I was 21. And I didn't know my head from my ass when I was 21. So it makes sense that I didn't get it. <laughs> you know? So it story checks out there. All right, give me that. Card key. Ooh, right on. Right on, right on. What did I just do? It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook covered with mold was a diary that belonged to my grandfather who passed away years ago. It contained my grandfather's distant memories. Does this device play back archives? Looks like someone's memoirs. I wonder if you still remember how we first met in our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. You were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like such and whispering your name into the desolate night. Poop. Kid? Kid? Radical dreamers, le treasure interdit. Le treasure interdit. Where's for Searle? What does that last word mean? <laughs> That's French, right? I think. <sighs> He's not. He's probably asleep. <laughs> what does that mean, folks? Who knows what that means? Pretty sure it's French. The Forbidden Treasure. Uh, okay. It was the subtitle for Radical Dreamers. That makes sense. Radical Dreamers? What does this mean? It's a conversation with a comrade. Are you ready, Poob? I know you're anxious, but stay on your toes. Likewise, mate. You mess up and I'm leaving... You mess up and I'm leaving you behind. <laughs> uh, not that guy. Come on, Matt. Guy? Who's Magil? Bastard Lynx is going to get what he deserves. Magil? Say your prayers. Not that it'll do you any good. Magil? Those are lines from Radical Dreamers. Wow. Seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times may also exist. Is this the same? It's the same, okay. Yeah, I never, I never really, I tried Radical Dreamers when it first got translated and I didn't like it because I didn't understand why I was playing a visual novel on a Super Nintendo. I got confused. Maybe I'll look at it someday on my own just to see what the hell it's about. Boom. Yo, where's Tammy? How you doing? Boom, boom, boom. Boom. This fate contains a massive amount of historical data dating up to the year 2400. Yes, we are talking about emotes. We're trying to discuss how we were on to theme tier three. Uh, we decided what we're doing for our five tier one emotes. We're gonna have a smile emote, a popcorn emote, a dead emote, a cool emote, and a baka. Uh, and then tier two, the theme is gonna be cat tier. So it's gonna be drawn emotes of my cats, Mog and Lickety. Um, There'll be Mog destroying audio cables for one. Mog spinning on DJ decks for another. Lickety staring like Hypnotoad into the camera. 
lickety licking and a diva emote of lickety wearing a queen's crown with smug face looking down on her subjects <laughs> and then tier three we have other theme ideas 8-bit uh fantasy sci-fi bears uh lucky emotes cosplay finny bear cosplaying or uh, combinations It was no worse than your average PC text adventure, which to me was about as boring as it gets, Volitro. That's why I didn't play it, man. I never really liked text adventures or visual novels. It has to be exceptional for me to enjoy it. I, I don't have the attention span for it. What made you feel old the last time you fired up Falcon's Revenge? And it opens up with 1994. What is Falcon's Revenge? I don't know what that is. When did animated emotes become a thing? Uh, yesterday. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it was Japanese only though, Oni. What's up, Solo? There you go. There you go, Amy. <laughs> I've got my five already. I'll probably be swapping them in and out here and there and continuing to give Thunder Koi money for them. <laughs> You're like, yo, Koi. Yeah, I got some more ideas. I already sent him one idea. I was like, mods, tell him your idea. Somebody wants me to animate the trash can emote. Can affiliates have them? Not until the end of the year. You woke up an hour ago? Dude, are you okay? <laughs> wait, wait, you're in Hawaii. So it's like, what, 5 p.m.? 6 p.m.? I can't remember if you're five or six hours behind or something like that. 8 p.m. So you woke up at 7 p.m. Ooh, ooh, that's rough. Dark deity has been ruling your life, hasn't it? Not until the end of the year? Yeah, correct. Steer is sticking around, yeah. That was it? Just fate, historical data, 24, okay. Neat. I'm just going to be button mashing now. The main computer of Chronopolis is called Fate. Yes, we know. Them. We know. All right. I guess that's it in this room. I say that's it, but damn. <laughs> More revelations. Holy hell. No, no. It's always been that way, Amy. They always give partners shit first. That's just, it's always been that way. Personally, I wouldn't really care if affiliates got the exact same perks as partners. I don't really see the point anymore, but hey, we got, we got there. So here we are. All right. I got the card, right? A key card. Beep. Beep. Wait, no. I think I wanted to go in here, right? The experiment is underway, access denied. Card key does not work. All right. I can be close to first to get it. How about they just give everybody stuff at the same time? We don't need this segregation shit. People are going to go to channels that they like the best. That's just where it stands. Hello. You talk. Why you no talk? Oh, he already talked. All right. Bye. Nope. It's not that way. Is it? Actually, it looks like a door. I think the key card's for the basement. Let's, let's go to the first floor save and then go to the basement. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Boom, 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 boom. 
You like the platform showing recognition for that? Yeah, that's nice. But like what <laughs> like that shit could be done on like a case by case basis. Even with partners or social strata for some features? Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. Yes, that's true. Like, getting a uh, higher revenue split for your subscribers. That is not easy to do. <laughs> wow, do you need to have a lot of subs for that? All right, we saved the game. We're going to hit the basement. Beep. Confirming access granted. All right, we have not been in the basement yet, folks. This is our first time. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. I gotta fight at least one of them, don't I? Alright, let's go. Get him, pants. What a name. Stop missing! Thanks, I hate it. Gunner, get ya? Oh my god. A name. Gunner, get ya. Wow. Bye, Delph. See ya. I'm gonna get ya. Yeah, it's not dead. Holy hell. Now it's dead. Bum, 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 bum. Well, it gives us a lot of infernos. <clears throat> That's kind of neat. All right. Fingerprint and retina scan required. Project Kid. <coughs> you step inside the circle and hold up your left hand. Analyzing, please stand by. Analysis complete. Fingerprints, retina, and class and C class DNA all clear. Data discrepancy due to aging within permissible range. 96% confirmation this individual is the last registered arbiter. Wasn't there some room that said I needed to be an arbiter to go in? Where was that? Welcome back, Chrono Trigger. Huh. That's why. That's why Link's needed guys for him. Link's must be inside already. Along with the frozen flame. Wait, wasn't there like a door or something that said I need to be an arbiter or something? Where was that? Where was that? Chat, where the fuck was that? <laughs> uh. Did I already go in there? That's where I viewed World 1 and World 2 and Floor 3. Oh, okay. I already went in there. All right. Oh, this is wild. Okay. Jesus, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? <clears throat> is that the frozen flame? I don't know. Exactly. Exclamation point dots.
The hearer of people's prayers, the provider of riches, fame, and power. The bestower of eternal life, the promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. He still has my body. How? The living crimson stone, the frozen flame. Took you so long, you had me worried. Where did you might have perished on the way here? Um, okay. And now I'm confused. <laughs> it's no use. I put her soul to sleep. I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. What am I confused? What the fuck is he talking about? Why is Lavos the frozen flame? I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Who are you? What are you after? You still don't know? I'm the human incarnation of fate. The living interface of the fate computer system. What? But simply I too am fate. 14 years ago, on the night of a terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea, carrying a sick young child in their boat. The child was you, Guy, after you'd been attacked by that panther demon. Your poison wounds were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Termina or even Goldove. So they set sail to Marble in order to see the sage there, not knowing how bad the storm would become. Hmm. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive the storm. <clears throat> but they were blown off course and came ashore on this island where they decided to seek shelter. At the time, this research center was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up. By then, the flame had found you. Contact with the flame healed your young body, but that was not all. Once the security card system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the Fate computer system in achieving its objective. Inside of Fate, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden since the old Mother Brain generation. That circuit was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of fate. That hidden circuit was based on the initial ash tier model circuit board with extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize that this circuit was present within the core of its system, or more correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its detection. Okay. Dr. Luca Ashtier. That's her name. Unbelievably intelligent and incredibly enthusiastic. You might even go so far as to call her a mad scientist. <laughs> of course, I don't believe it was Luca's plan alone that devised this. I'm sure, the first curator of this research center, a man named Balthasar, had a hand in it too. Fate, bring out the traitor Prometheus. So I'm the re who's talking? I've waited a long time for you. I'm glad you made it in time. I beg you, bring an end to the enmity between fate and the dragons. Fate, eliminate him. Now eliminating Prometheus. Okay. Who's Prometheus? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? For the future. This is somewhat confusing, yeah. Prometheus was Robo's actual designation in Chrono Trigger. Oh, wow. Well, that was a short reunion, sort of. <laughs> Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate. 
have to fight him again. He shrunk. Oh, now he's a xenomorph. Okay. Well, this is fine. Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive. There we go. They just deleted Robo. Yeah. They basically put Robo in Mother Brain and then hid him and his personality and everything inside of this. What the fuck? Why did they make this to begin with? Why does it look like an Asari? <laughs> Holy shit, it's Mass Effect! <laughs> uh, oh man. Bioware, I know where you got your inspiration from. All right, it's Dark Element. That looks like a fucking Asari. It's Mass Effect 4. <laughs> Commencing countdown. Oh, lovely. I always love when a boss has a countdown. That usually means it's time to get wrecked. Ugh. The fucking accuracy in this game. Say what you will about Square Enix. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing when it came to accuracy percentages in video games. <laughs> Never. They fucked it up every time. All right. There you go. There's a hit. Let's get some spells here. So if it did diminish, right? Then that means it's going to be using... It's going to be using, like, techniques, which are probably physical based. So, yeah, okay. Good. I don't have any defense up elements equipped. Four. It's seriously an Asari. Why did it do diminish? Like, it made its own spells weaker. That's really weird. Alright. Let me heal. Alright. Heals are still pretty damn good, so... It's good damage. She needs to hit, though. This gal needs to hit. Heat ray. Oh! <laughs> okay! That was a couple fucking damage. Looks like Guy's gonna be doing more damage on this thing. Two. So Guy's gonna die, is all I'm learning from this. He's fucked. Because Diminish makes my heals worse. He's already dead. Yeah, I knew it was gonna happen. This is gonna be a real fun battle, I'll tell you what. Let's try a flying arrow on him. This should do a lot of damage. Yeah, it was pretty good. Attacks, regular attacks would have been better. I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and boop. 
sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns. Boop. Hello, Darian. How are you, man? Dude, you're up late. Holy crap. It's dark. Dark element. It's a death ray van now, yeah. Damn, that's good. That's good stuff right there. Oh, boy. I don't think we have anti-black, and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work on it anyway. So, I'll try to heal him. Weird. Turn black. It's already black. Oh, I do have anti-black. Might as well try it. It's probably gonna miss. Oh! <laughs> it worked! Hello! <laughs> okay. Do your countdown. Oh, it didn't work? Oh, it did work. It's working. Look, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it did work. Oh, anti-black is nice here. Play Mass Effect watching some D&D &D streams. Oh, nice, dude. Hell yeah. Let's just do strong minded and guy. He's the most susceptible here. All right, cool. Now it doesn't have a full field of black. Zero. Dark energy. Oh, it didn't work. Anti-black did not work on that. Oh, this is fine. Only works in elements, not techniques. Good. <laughs> Super. Uh, hell. Oh, hell. You, you have a big old cure you can blast us with, right? There we go. You see the countdown, you Bahumet flight flashback yeah same yeah same freaking idea boy rainbow weapons would have been nice here huh now what are you gonna do recommence the countdown okay now it's gonna hit us it still hits you between countdowns which sucks She needs some Something hits. went wrong. Good. Good. Number 120. Or a bunch of fucking misses. God damn it. Whatever. Just do a heal. Thank you, buddy, for 32 bits, man. Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. No kidding. There's a rare one. Saints. This would be nice to do. I need a full field of white to do it, though, so, yeah. Not too likely, is it? I'm weaken it. Batman was arrogant enough to stand around during the countdown? Yeah. I guess an anti-black's still working. It hits elements only, it looks like, so. I'm gonna keep her elements in case we need a, wait. Weak-minded, oh, magic defense, right. Never mind.
You haven't done surveys or ads lately? No need to apologize, man. You're good. Oops, here we go. Let's get some more hits. Three. Heat ray. Oh. Oh. Yikes. There we go. These AoE heals are just crucial. You st stop fucking missing. There you go. Now she's got some elements. Two. Anti-black is worn off at my killer. Oh, she's got one hit point. <laughs> oh, man. Whoo. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh. Wait, he's got some cure pluses. We need to do that. Nice. Okay. And she needs to heal herself. Still. <sighs> One HP. That was decidedly luck. Do imbecile on it. This might help. We hope. All we can do is hope. Fuck. All right, she got a hit. One. Gravity blow. We. Point forty-two. Oh, it's doing it twice. Whee! <laughs> 78 is a little more than 42. <sighs> now it's got a full field of black. That's a big old nope by me. That's a big old nope by me. All right. Defend. Defend. Zero. Here comes the pain. Dark energy. Hopefully defend works on this. I don't know if it did, but Jesus, the dead hurt. <laughs> Pants, please do cure all help. Oh damn, that was an amazing heal. Holy hell. You can't be fucking missing at a time like this, you asshole. <sighs> so frustrating. Recommend you go dead. Ninety-nine on guy. It does look like it's weakening, yeah. Agreed. Let's get a heal on her. Let's get a two and a three on this. Nice. You, we want to get some element. Uh, one, two, and a three. Fucking misses, man. Just show me the real percentage. If you're wondering why it's such a problem, 
This game does not adjust this percentage based on the enemy's evasion. So you're just guessing. That's, I think, one thing that really bothered people about this game a lot. All right, she's got element, you, threes, three, fuck, yep, three. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna hurt somebody. Uh. All right, she's good. You, do you have, you have a heal on plus one. That might be her only AoE heal left. Okay. That's her only heal left other than capsules. What about you? What about heals do you have? You have a cure plus one. Okay. You have a recover all. Do it. The game cheats. It just doesn't display the information you're looking for, yeah. Alright, she needs more element. Do it. Just fucking go YOLO here. Give Volcano plus two. Reverse Taco Bell. That was not great, but hey, I'll take it. Wait, that might have been it. <laughs> we killed the space, the freaking robot. Sorry. Uh. Whew, that was tough. Holy hell. Everybody gets a level from that too. Fuck yeah. She didn't get magic again. Come on, get magic, Tammy. <laughs> that's your, that's why you're here. Uh, he got three hit points. That's pretty bad. Nah, she's even more tankier now. All right, fair enough. Magic seal. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. Eh? No, how could you? I, Fate, the goddess of Fate, was not meant to die. Lies. Yo, Pope's back! Where are places am I? I don't know. Guy, what happened to me? Uh, ah, that, that's it. She's already, she already sees treasure. She's like, the treasure, get it! <laughs> Uh, hi, Harl. No. Are it. Ne touch path. Do not touch it. Okay. Oh, I know the feelings you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself down the cliff of destruction. That is your imperative. <laughs> but see vous play, Pooh. Do not drag Guy and the others down into destruction with you. Wow. Shut up, you loony. I know what I'm doing. It's too late. There's no turning back now, boy. It's too late. I don't know what it's too late for, but it's too late. No, no, Harl. She's the best. What did she do? Fate has fallen. Fate has died. Rawr. It's too late in general. That's why she laid down to sleep. Yeah, it was like 2 a.m. So, you know. <laughs> Finally, the time has come. <clears throat> the long, endless night shall finally come to an end. Yeah, the dragons seem to know about it. Now, for mankind. 
I appreciate they made each dragon have a very unique appearance. The black dragon's the only one that really looked like a traditional dragon. Well, the white one did kind of as well. I shall make you bleed. Uh oh. <clears throat> Feel a million years of this planet's agony, pain, and suffering. Excuse me. Mikey, did you come to see the cutscene? <gasps> oh, we get real cutscene. Hell yeah. What is it, Lickety? Oh, jeez, what the f Oh, this is fine. <laughs> yeah, nothing could go wrong here. Wait. What? What the hell is that? Wow, that's cool. There's a tower on it. It's T-posing. Somebody reset the graphics driver. Terror Towers come back to life again. <clears throat> the year 2400, during a counter time experiment, the flame goes out of control. It causes the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in the time crash. Time crash. She's back, everyone. <laughs> Engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex, Chronopolis was hurled 10,000 years back in time. Perhaps it was the awakening of Lavos who pulled the frozen flame back through time to it. Hmm. Maybe so that Lavos, who saw the possibility that some young adventurers might destroy it, could create a backup plan. But that ain't all. At the same time, another city from the different dimensions future was also thrown back in time. Dinopolis, the future city of the Reptites, Azala's descendants who had evolved more closely with the planet. Whoa. Dinopolis. Are you sleepy, Lickety? You want to lay down? Yeah? You can lay down. Go ahead. Do you want to lay down? Go ahead. Yeah, you can lay down. There you go. Good kitty. Want to lay on the desk? No? Oh, you want to smell that, huh? Just as Lavos in an attempt to save itself summoned Chronopolis from the distant future, perhaps our planet beckoned Dinopolis into the past, maybe as a measure against Chronopolis and humanity. What? It wasn't the dragon gods who sealed up the frozen flame. It was fate which used the flame's power to divide and seal the dragons in slumber. And now that fate has been defeated, the dragons will join together again to start their revenge. Oh, good. Wickedy, I can't see chat. Come here. Why don't you lay down? Yeah, good kitty. Yo, this is cool as hell. controller was vibrating off the desk. Oh, that's freaky. They're fighting each other? Oh! No, they didn't fight each other. They turned into a uh, oil spill. Okay. Oh, that's a big boy. It's a Megazord. <laughs> Oh 
boy. I didn't want to have to fight with you if it could have been avoided. Oh, boy. No, I don't want to fight you. Bye. No, come back. Join our party. Feels bad. Wow. The dragons have formed meat Voltron. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hi. Hi, nice kitty. Oh, you're a nice kitty. Yeah. You're a nice kitty. <clears throat> We're being used this whole time. Damn. We're just done. It's done. Although we may not like it. In any case, we need to make our way into that floating tower. Yes, we cannot just twiddle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is... So I have to find a way up there, right? It's not like the great S's Invincible can make it up there either. There has to be a way. At least our objective is clear. I do not know how, but we must find a way. Okay. So, like, whatever happened to poop after that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Oh, that's the guy that echoes in his own helmet, so he has to shout. She's resting at Mackie's place. I don't remember who Mackie was. Yeah, Nier made a new translation patch and for Bahamut Lemgoon and um, added tons and tons and tons of quality of life fixes to it. So basically the game's fan translation by him is better than the original version. Powerful item is necessary to dispel it. There's no sense staying here. Come on, mateys, let's shove off. Yeah! Where are we going? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to keep this team. But who's Mackie? Is that one of my teammates? Oh, it's the old guy. The hermit's hideaway, right? Yeah. 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 Boom, bop, boom. We sucked at translating games back then. Well, what I'm saying is that he fixed all the bugs in the game while translating it darkens. So it isn't, and that game never got a, fan, a translation anyway. Bahamut and Lagoon never got an English translation. It just got a fan translation like 17 years ago and then recently just got a new one that fixed every single bug in the game and made it more easy to play. Not like difficulty, but like quality of life. All right. I don't know what's next, but we're gonna figure it out. Did we do the Mount Feeding minigame? A little bit. I did a little bit of it. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> I didn't really see the point of it. <laughs> this key item menu reminds me of the key items in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I never did figure out what the hell this dragon emblem was. Or it did and I forgot. Craze anatomy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you caught that, huh? All right, you. I just got a new item that you might want. Magic seal. I couldn't take her kung fu shoes. I boost her magic even higher, but that would lower evasion by twelve percent. Nah, we're good. I like her gear. This is fine. What is my interpretation of the story dump? I don't really understand anything that happened at the end there. At all. Like, every, I was there 
Like, I was following along. Like, all the stuff in Chronopolis made sense to me. But everything at the end made no sense at all. I don't really get it. Bummer. Enjoy 21 tier 1 emotes and 5 animated emotes and add free viewing for a month. Right on. The dragon megazord fusion scene. You weren't sure if you were having fever dreams. It was pretty wild, wasn't it? <laughs> that one was a little out there. Ooh, can I go back here? Oh, this is another world, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's go. You've you've gotten tons of gift subs to channels you've been in briefly because of a random raid. Yeah, same, same. Dun, 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 dun. I got merch about the meme. I did. When? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, you mean the thing Thor sent me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right, though. Only polite to stay. Hey, you stay as long as is comfortable or necessary for yourself. No one is ever obligated to be here. It is always a bonus when folks decide to hang out here. Because of all the channels out there on Twitch, people decide to choose this one. That's always flattering. It's always very heartwarming. And there are millions of Twitch channels. So, hey, here we go. And you're part of that exclusive company. Uh, here, maybe? Let's go here. Do, do, do. Which part did I get lost on, Reg? I didn't understand the dragons part. It, like, I don't understand where Balthazar and Luca come in. Like, why did they make this thing that basically is destroying the world? I don't get it. Like, it's, there's just a lot going on there that doesn't make sense. Probably top Chrono Cross stream right now? I don't know. I don't look at my view counts, man. I don't want to know them. I never want to know them. Oh, there's, there's Kid. Okay. There's Master Roshi. Boo, 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 Too long, didn't read timey-wimey stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Pilby's resting in bed. She hasn't come out of her coma yet. Okay. Go talk to her, even though she's in a coma, I guess. No, no talkies. Didn't they tell me I needed to visit this guy? Well, that didn't work, did it? Chrono Trigger, they created Dinopolis by accident. That doesn't make any sense. How the fuck did they do that? <laughs> you're poisonous. Oh, no. I hope you're going to be all right. Time to figure out how to modify things so it just says viewers yes if you accidentally look. Honestly, I would use that. <laughs> that means I could easily open my own page to gift subs. Without without the like having to cross my own eyes to blur my vision so I don't see the view count. It's a little a little odd that I have to do that, but hey. It's for my own mental health, really. <clears throat> it's the main the main reason. Dun, 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 dun. Food related. Ooh, okay. Well, usually when it's food related, it pa passes in like a day. So you should be all right soon. Usually food related stuff is gone in a day. Dun, 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 dun. It's the alternative ending in Chrono Trigger for killing Lavos before killing Azala, which was powered up by Lavos. That's really weird. Why would that have any bearing on this? That was like an alternate ending. Dun, 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 dun. Zero channels are streaming it. Mm. <clears throat> Those tags are never right, Belvin. They're from the database that Twitch pulls it from. You can use the right stick and do this. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, that's new. Terra Tower. Neat. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, it's not a category. Yeah, it's just a tag. That's right. All right, they told me to go visit Master Roshi. Nothing happened. G to the G. Maybe go to the boat, right? Mm. All right, there's something here right here. The old man's house. I went to the old man's house. Maybe I have to go to the old man's house in Homeworld. I know I'm missing some characters too. I remember there was like a walking mushroom guy. Never found him. It's a good tune, ain't you, Peach? Ain't it? Ain't it just? All right, let's go to Herman's hideaway in the other world and see what happens. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Who's gonna hang out with us tomorrow for our D&D stream? That'll be our first one in a couple months. Should be a good time. Also, I'm liking Orla so far, a.k.a. Pants. Good morning from the future, a.k.a. Germany. Ah, oh, we got another German viewer. Cool. Kantz? Is that how we say your name? Kantz? Kantz? You're free. You'll be around. It'll be a little earlier than normal, so it's an earlier stream. Uh, normally, I start at... Normally, I start at 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. Tomorrow, I'll be starting at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Uh, and it'll be a 3 to 6 hour stream. Because it's a D&D one shot. You know, we don't go hard all night with those. <clears throat> they're quick and they're fun. Kanze? Kanze? Like that? Every once in a while, Pagan Red Cat here makes me say German words very angrily. So, yeah. I picked up a little tiny bit of syntax here and there. <laughs> Every once in a while. This thing. We don't know what this is either. It's like this random turnip. Do, do. See? It's just like impossible for human to pull out. I tried non humans and it didn't work. Smash decide them stay here for a while. Okay, you go use you do you smash. Yeah, there we go. There's Peekman. This place is out of this world. Yeah, that's one. That's one. There's Bob. I like Bob. This place is fun. Yeah, it's true. All right, there's nobody here we want to talk to. I don't get it. The game told me to go talk to the old man. <laughs> Did Jensen work for it? No. Nope. The flower? I didn't try the flower. Ugh. I tried the dragon and the alien and maybe Jensen. I still can't swap him out. All right. All right, we'll try Doggo McDoggerson. And Grant and uh, Gremlin. We'll just try all the non-humans and see what happens. Dun. All right, here we go. No, it just switches to him. Read me to I, guy pool. <laughs> it's the dog. 
What? It's a turnip with a cape. Hello, my name is... Oh, we got a teammate. Hell yeah. You guys get to name someone. <laughs> All right. Well, we just accidentally the teammate. All right. One minute to enter, everybody. The raffles begin. You get a chance to name this character. Six characters max. Its name is literally Turnip. Uh, have a name ready if you're a winner, or we will select someone else. So good luck, everybody. You got an equal opportunity to win. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jolly hacking good. It's <laughs> a lot of people entering. You love to see it. Love to see it. Looks like an onion knife. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Last call, folks, for the raffle to name this character. Literally a turnip. Onion. Its name is Turnip, so... I mean, it looks like a turnip with a cape. It is. That's literally what it is, so... Go ham. Three mods all had to remake. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. The winner. Hey, Slane. Thank you for 17 months. Thank you for 17 months. The winner. Since I randomly woke up. Here's a resub lol. Lol. Bigger Red Cat, you won! You finally won one! Oh, you never win these. Holy crap. You finally won! Onion! Alright, do you want it all capitals like that, or do you want lowercase? What do you want? Dude, All cat. You want to scream onion. Okay. You're not even playing around. Alright, so you want to scream the word onion. Alright, here we go. Onion! Alright. If thou didst pulleth me out, I shall join with you. Please, tis no trouble on mine part. <laughs> what the fuck? Onion forced his way into your party. <laughs> Call upon me when thou needeth mine help. GG. We have an onion in our team now. You're gonna go for soup. What was everyone else gonna call it? Yo, know, folks, this is the last week we're going to have these mod apps open, by the way. Take a look at that sheet there. If you think you can cut it based on the text in that body there, we do ask a lot from our mods because they are more than mods. They're community leaders around here. If it's something you're interested in, anything you can do it, fill out an app. 36 strength, 414 hit points. Uh, it's not that good. He's all right. I don't know. Maybe he has really good abilities. Let's just see what he has, right? Two agility. He will literally never dodge anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> In a freaky way. <laughs> a total vet. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's frog is a turnip or yeah, yeah, or a link. <laughs> oh man. Could you do it? Sure, but you're never here. It's not for you. No, I appreciate that. Don't imply unless you think you could do it, right? Build round right rhizomed. Instead of handed, he's rhizomed. Okay. Oops, what am I doing here? He uses swords. He's literally an onion knight, isn't he? Weird. Boom. Wow, his element grid is garbage. Four, four, four. Leap in air and put all force behind massive cut. Vegemite. He has an ability called Vegemite. Laura Lana, he's got an ability called Vegemite. I hate it so much. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to blame Laura Lana because she's the only Australian I know here right now. 
This is your fault, Warlock. Your culture did this to us. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. This is legitimately like one of the worst element grids I've seen. It's fours across the board. He's not good, is he? One of these days, I'm going to find someone that's tried like every character in this game. And they'll be able to tell me like if this character's good or not. There we go. We're bringing pants back in. You always wonder why the meme characters? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Something looks a little off to me tonight. I'm not sure what it is. Let me check something. Do, 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 do. That's right. Yes, yes. Sample rights. No, that's not it. I mean, I like that that's wider, but that's wrong. Uh, there we go. Nope, that's even worse. Okay. Meme characters are for Loki. It definitely took a weird, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, this game just threw me another curveball. It said, go visit the old man's house. I did. And the old man said, she's still sleeping. And that was it. That was it. Let's go back. Maybe I missed something. I think we're over top. Jogurt? Jogurt. I have to know. <laughs> I have to know. What the hell does that mean? Oh, is that Dulmarn? You like our emotes, Dulmarn? Do you like them? Makes sense. So yeah, that's not live yet. Waiting for approval, which knowing DBH, it's a fucking coin flip, but <laughs> hey, whatever. It is meta, isn't it? Yeah. What's that master B? Does this store sell oversized sippy cups? I don't think so. We're going to go back here again. <clears throat> Let's try this again. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but if it's not, then I'm definitely lost. Turnip is one guy's third place green user. That's pretty lousy. Jogurt is a meme character from Shining Force, and you have to be a god to use him. I see. All right, Poob has not come out of her coma. Poob, wake up! Wake up! No. I don't get it. <clears throat> I don't get it. Key items. Any key items here? Oh boy. This feels like a point and click adventure game where I'm just randomly choosing key items to use. Tear of love. No. No. I have Shining Force 1 and 2 and Shining in the Darkness and I want to play them. 
His name colors and chat look different lately to anyone but you. They look the same to me. They haven't changed for me. So I don't know. Maybe like a plugin of yours changed or something? Do, 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 do. Boom, but just bonk her. That'll wake her up. Yeah. There you go. All right. What if I go to terminal? Stab her with the Ein Lancer. Teach her to fake come on us. Ever make rainbow gear? Nope. Don't have any of the items to make it, so probably never will. Unless I somehow find the items. Have I tried Riddle? No. I used her the, when I played this game the first time in 03. She's overpowered. She's an awesome character, but I don't want to use the same character as this playthrough. So I'm using ones I've never used before. Which has been quite a lot. It's been fun. In the uh, original playthrough that I did, I used Lena, Gwen and Riddle basically exclusively, who are all overpowered. They're all really good. <laughs> Do I want to know I get shiny items without dismantling them? Nah, not really. I'm good. So yeah, I never used Orla or Miki before. I've used them this time. I used uh, Razly. Razly was really good. I used... What's her name? Arenis? 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 She was pretty good. I tried Mojo. He's terrible. He's god awful. Um, I tried her. I forgot her name. She was bad too. And I also tried her. Marcy is god tier. <laughs> Holy crap, she's good. Uh, and him, he's really good too. Nikki. Ah, you fixed it. Nice. Good call, Seamus. It's very stupid in how you get them, then I'm definitely not getting them. And I definitely don't want to get them. It sounds grindy and annoying. No, he isn't, Reg. You're lying. He's like one of the worst characters in the game. <laughs> all he has... All he has... That was weird. I pushed left... Is that a... Oh, you can push left stick in. Same as X for one-handed play. Neat. I didn't get Lena? No. No. Maybe they're in the bar. Dun, 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 dun. Nobody's here. Well, that was my only idea of what to do, and now I'm lost again. Yeah, this game does this a lot. Man. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, Loki, please. Brum. How much did I button mash on kid? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I don't understand. Button mash. You don't button mash in this game. I don't get it. Let's go here. Let's go to the bend of time. Do, 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 do. Hello. You don't say anything different. Darn it. What about this? 
No, it's the time will come for the doorway to open. Okay. That's nothing either. All right, we're leaving. Bye. This is totally like the end of time in uh, Chrono Trigger, except all those lights just let you fight things. It's a little odd. It's a little bit odd. All right. Maybe they want me to go to Arnie Village? Question marks? I guess. No, go in the village. There we go. If, if it's not Arnie Village and either timeline, hello. This time, Sky Dragon Isle has floated into the sky. What the hell's going on? What's going to happen to us, man? I don't know, dude. All right. Nothing's going on here. Huh. Do I go here? We're just guessing now. That's all we're doing. Sorry. Also, I'm still upset that Harl doesn't get to join us. It's really annoying you have the new game plus to get her. Well, like, permanently, I think. If I'm not mistaken. That's kind of upsetting. Alright, let's try this. Dun, 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 dun. Harl is the best. Well, this is working now. Oh. Okay, that's new. I think I went the right way. Chrono Cross. The MacGuffin! <laughs> I got the name of the game! Yo, I got a free copy of Chrono Cross. Sick! <laughs> Hold on. What the fuck is the Chrono Cross again? <laughs> the ultimate long lost element of the seventh color attribute. Oh. Now we just have to find the PS1. I know, right? Kind of looks blue. Yeah. It's like the water element ish. Okay, I got that. I don't know why I got that. Did I just randomly luck myself into that? Or was that what the game expected me to do? I did? Fuck. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know what this game wants right now. <sighs> sure. <laughs> What was I supposed to do? They told me to go visit the old hermit, right? And he's just like, oh, she's in a coma. Uh, okay, but then that was it. She was in a coma. Reg, help. Help me. What was I supposed to do? How was I supposed to draw that conclusion that I was supposed to go there? <sighs> I better save the game. <laughs> I better save the game. Uh, this is alarming. I feel like a sequence broke the game or something. No, I don't know what to do. They told me to go visit the old man in his house, and I did. And all he says is kids in a coma and nothing happens. That's it. That's all they told me.
Do I want more characters or progression? I don't understand the question. I don't even understand the question. I have to choose one or the other. What did they tell me, Reg? Just tell me what they fucking told me. <laughs> Stop being cryptic. Because they told me to visit the hermit and I did and nothing happened. So I've done what the game told me to do and now there's nothing to do. Tasty beverage. Yeah, please stop dodging my questions. Just answer them when I ask. There's a small island I visited a couple times. Okay. Did I check the homeworld tournaments? Yeah. He doesn't live there in the homeworld. He lives in Arnie Village. He's the mayor. You want me to go here? All right, sure. You're still being cryptic, by the way. I'm just gonna start looking shit up here soon. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. It's locked. Okay, bye. That was fun. GG. <laughs> Just doing smug face? Yeah, I know. Hey. Oh, I must push the button. Feels bad. Next time. Next time. Did you change your equipment yet? You have some great elements? Alright, I'll, I'll take a look. Hopefully she updates. What's up, Cloaked Alien? How are you? She does not update. Alright. Where's dude? Where's the old guy? Where's the mayor? Chief Mackey. I don't know where the mayor is. I have no idea. Is he with me? No. When they're not with you, they go to like somewhere else. Usually, like their default location or whatever. Mm. Right, the dog was running around there. Right. That island's the next place to go. I don't understand. That's confusing. Why? Why? 
Which island? Right. <laughs> uh, he's still being cryptic. This is where the Dario guy was, right? Hello, Dario again. Don't torment him. Hello? Yes, your name is Dario. Yep. Okay. Doo doo doo. They're all islands. It's true, yeah. Oops. Okie dokie. Chrono Cross Guide. Doo -doo. My code word to get a straight answer is when I say the phrase, give me a straight answer, which I said. So yeah, I can't be more fucking clear than that. What did the guide say? It, it said that you have options. <laughs> and then I looked up another one and it had different information. So yeah, I'll do this, I guess. She has a very stilted run. Hello. Do 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 do. This is another world. Dario is alive. Seem to know me quite well. Do not remember me. Maybe stole some from another world, but every day I've always. You don't remember? That name moves his heart, chat. There's something to reawaken your memory. Your mother's memento. Stored it safely in a secret treasure vault inside Viper Manor. Oh my god. <laughs> it's in a room inside the East Tower. Okay. Is this, you know what, whatever. I don't know if this is necessary, but we'll do it. Side quests and side quests of branching paths that you would have never figured. Okay, anyway. I wonder what would happen if I had brought her there earlier. Hopefully you don't need her in your party, because I don't use her. The side quest is on an island. <laughs> nah, -uh, get out of here. There's no islands in this game. Uh. There's no islands in this game. I don't know what you're talking about. There's just shallow pools everywhere, all right? They're really into swimming. It's like a national sport. All right, let's go. Hi. Hi. It might be in the other world, isn't it? Oh, no, it's the other world, isn't it? Bye. <laughs> yeah, the whole place is ruins. It looks fine outside. How good is this game? The game is honestly really good. It's just quite cryptic and near the end. Am I trying to get all the characters? No, absolutely not. You have to beat the game three times to do that. So, no. I will never do that. It's not EF cryptic? No, it isn't. Definitely.
getting all the characters doesn't really do anything. Some people like to do it. Um, Cause there's like a point in the game where you have to choose one of three characters and the other two you can't get. So you have to do new game plus two times just to get them. It's kind of rough. Popcorn? I like popcorn. You know, we got the best ending for this game. I don't know if the ending I got was the best ending. I don't want to know. But I know I'm going to do a thing and we're going to get that ending. And that's as obtuse as I can get because I don't want people to spoil it. <laughs> no spoilies. We'll get an ending. It'll be a cool ending, I think, maybe. Possibly. Do -do 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 -do. Oops, I gotta go right here. There we go. Squaresoft Golden JRPG era. <laughs> totally hates Final Fantasy games and, and Chrono games. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just imagining with you. East Tower. Second floor. Viper man. Away we go. Isn't that where we got the flower? Might be. A JRPG fan and hates JRPGs? That'd be interesting, yeah. This way. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, where'd my music go? I was jamming to that. Bye, Luna. What the hell is this? I've never seen this before. Well, that's different. Okay. Just push push pillars and holes. We're slotting things in holes right now. It says respect my behind. Really? Respect my ass? Like what? <laughs> what the fuck? That's really awkward. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that's the correct response, Vaughn. <laughs> Respect my butt. All right. There's a letter inside. <clears throat> There's a good reason why we borrowed the contents. If you want him back, come to the Isle of the Damned. Bring Sir Grump. Signed, Salt and Pepper. Oh, come on. Not them. <sighs> That's why it said respect my behind. Because it does not. And they just open the door. Bring Sir Grump. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to bring him. I like my team. Uh, fine, we'll bring him. I think that's Karsh. Do do do. Do, 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 Can I skate? Respect the butt. So that's what the message said, and you clearly had to to read that message. You had to respect the booty. Do, 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 do. Are there any E3 games I'm anticipating? I don't think so. I didn't really watch any of it. Metroid Dread did seem cool, but I haven't played Fusion or any of the GBA or DS or whatever ones. So that does look cool. It was cool news. Um, 
But I honestly don't know what they announced. I don't remember anything they announced that I was interested in. What in the hell, Belvin? <laughs> that is uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, it is him. Okay. I need to play fusion someday. I have it. I have it. I definitely play it on my GBA player. Dun, 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 dun. You're disappointed with that Final Fantasy announced game? Yeah. Honestly. Doesn't look very good. It's like some dude. They dropped some dude in a t shirt in that game and gave him the personality of cardboard. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was just a horrible trailer. I'm not sure. But it doesn't look fun. So maybe it will be you know maybe they'll surprise us but it was made by what's that name team ninja or whatever or whatever i think that's their name the ones that made other m i don't have any trust in that company at all <laughs> so uh. <laughs> team ninja yeah 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 they made metroid other m but they also made neo 2 so they're like they either make a really good game or a really shitty one, so I'm not really sure what their deal is. The trailer's cringe. It probably doesn't do the gameplay any justice. That's what I'm hoping. Like, I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping that the main character isn't that fucking one-dimensional because he seems so incredibly boring. It's like they just put some, like, roided-out frat boy in a t-shirt and gave him a big sword and said, go kill chaos. He's like, I must kill chaos. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, All right. Cool, man. I believe you. You know, like Dark Souls? Oh, I love Dark Souls. But that game did not look like Dark Souls at all. Not even a little bit. It looked like Ninja Gaiden. So, or Devil May Cry. Dark Souls does not play like that game looks at all. Look at this, pseudo armor is gone. Interesting. Was this here? Was this always here? Oh, there they are. All right. Do I have to give this mook elements? Here. You ready? Auto allocate grump. GG. All right, let's go. <laughs> I don't care if I have to use him. I'm just going to give him throwaway items. This could also be really hard. I have no idea. Damn, he is very tanky, though. He also has no stone gear. That's a problem. Yeah, whatever.
There. Hello? <laughs> uh. Jesus. No, no storms tonight. It's AC. It's the AC. My AC, when it kicks on, sometimes kicks out that entire corner of the apartment where the fucking router is. So good. Maybe I need to move that. <laughs> Except that it's right next to the freaking coax. So I can't move it. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, it knocks out that whole corner of the, inner, of the apartment. It's in. It's not just me. I think it's the combination of. Um, um, no, you get your ass back here, Eagle. I'm just kidding. Because I've seen it when it happens, it knocks out the lights outside too. So it's like that whole side of the building gets knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> what does third mean? I'm interested in learning this command, Legion. <laughs> Yo, thanks for those. E Eagle, have a good night, man. Sleep well. Are we good? If you're curious what I did, and I don't have to worry about transcodes anymore. It was the wrong chat. No problem, dude. Enjoy your lurk or not. This is what I did. I said YOLO and I just auto equipped his elements because I don't care. Yeah, I need to get a UPS, Crimson. I don't have one and I really need one. Like I know one UPS could supply both of my PCs over here. Uh, I don't know about the monitors too though. I have a lot of electronics in this corner. I'd probably need a beefy, beefy UPS, like 1500 to 2000 watt UPS. Grump's gonna be bad because he doesn't have stone gear. Hell no, what am I supposed to? Don't check it, George. We came to investigate what happened here. Sir Grump, we, we, we have stood by your side and we will shake loose this one suspicion we had. Suspicion? We believe you may have killed Sir Dario. And by shaking it here, our suspicion has turned to conviction. Uh oh. If you hook your PC up to UPS, it streams at you. Oh no, do they make loud noises? Cause I can't have that. <laughs> it's not, that's not ideal. We are executing you for the murder of Sir Dario. Uh oh. Time to grind these two? Negative. Never grind. She brought something special for everyone. Look at Glenn in the back there, the little kid. It's adorable. It's adorable. Oh. Look at my on-screen chat. What is going on? Why does it say you have 1800 subs? <laughs> Why is everything fucked? <laughs> Reg, what did you do? <laughs> this is, I told you, man, your, your, your script, your tracker, whenever I lose internet, it just like shits the bed. It's so funny. It thinks I have 1889 subs. <laughs> It'll fix itself in like five minutes, but still. Yeah, apparently I found, yeah, I found a freaking sugar mama somewhere. <laughs> uh, I should set the refresh rate down to 120 seconds. Tell me how to do that. I forgot to fix your script, by the way. I want to do that right now.
How do I do that? Just literally just put it in chat. Tell me which line to edit. We can do that when we fix the script. How do I do it, Reg? <laughs> 4390s and SLI? That sounds awful. I would just sell three of them. <laughs> uh. Churros were originally iron rations for knights. Oh, churros are so good. I can heat my building with a tower. I wouldn't be able to stream at that level. I wouldn't have the power capability in this building. I found it in Fossil Valley. Isn't it pretty? It's just a flower. You should go to the valley by yourself. It's just a valley. I'm sure it's safe enough. Planted seeds, you might give fruit from a flower. Okay. I could buy the building from selling three of the 39. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, my God. Did the on screen chat? All right, everything caught up now. It's 1144. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. That's actually really good. Holy crap. Start sleep seconds. Okay. But what. It, yeah, I don't know which script I'm looking for. That's the thing. Well, she's a nice gal. Just give her mom flowers. Hey, Mog. Mog's coming around. It's a bellflower. Ever wish for this flower, I will go for you instead. He's being protective of her, but she's seriously capable. Her elements, like, strength is insane. She's like the strongest magic user in the game. She can handle her own. She has 20 magic power at this age. <laughs> uh, uh, to tell you the truth, we are pledged to marry. I've already told Danny about it. That, that is what I wanted to tell you. Will you bless us with your approval, Grump? Mary? So that's it. Well, congratulations. What's it going to be and where? We haven't decided on a date yet. We still need to finish surveying the Isle of the Dam first. It's just that... Just what? I want the wedding here. The place where we have cried together, laughed together, and shared our dreams together. Oh, wow. This is getting touchy. Grin. <laughs> I like that. What do you think about that? Grin. <laughs> it just seems so out of place. Uh. Hello, little bunny. After this cutscene, we're going to give this kitty some treats. Hey, they don't have to fill this dull vacant lot with loads of bellflowers. All right. <laughs> Grin. <laughs> Dang, jealousy. Jealousy. The Masamune may be in there. Interesting. Oh. 
Shaker Brothers. Salt Pepper, the Shaker Brothers. Oh, they made it even worse. Building still in a fuse box? I don't know. It's a good question, Dark Blade. Is I really just possessed by the devilish sword? Driven by such intense hatred and envy, maybe deep inside me I was filled with hatred. Dario, the one whom I could never beat, no matter how much I tried, the one who stole Belsa's heart from me. What if that sword does not embed hatred into the mind of its wielder, but instead draws out and ignites the flames of hatred hidden within the hearts of men? If that hatred was something deep within the wielder to begin with, what have I... Oh, it was him. Boy, yo, monkey boy. Don't lay on my keyboard, kitty. Look, it's Mark. Good boy. Hello, Monkey. You want some treats? Was it really him if he was a possessed? That's a good question, Darkens. That's an excellent question. It needs to be considered, doesn't it? Uh, let's see if this works. Works good. Treat time. Let's go. You want treats, little boy? Yeah? Come on. You can have some treats. Oh, he's ready. Look at him. Always smart to soliloquize yourself about people you've killed out loud in public. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why no, little man? Why no, little man? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow, you're just gobbling these ones up. You want to chew this one first, maybe? Instead of trying to swallow it whole? There you go. That's better. That's better. All right, last one. There you go. Hey, what's up, Antalya? Come on. Come on. Get your ass up here, Lickety. I'm not picking you up. Come here. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, she hoisted all that hurt. Oh, I hate when she does that. <laughs> Come on, go up on the desk. There you go. All right. Holy crap, that didn't feel good. Num, 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 num. Sorry, Mog, you already got four. Look at him trying to force his way in there. She knows better. <laughs> She knows better. Yeah, there you go, tasty. All right, we got double cat treats this time. All right, you two. That's it. That's it. <laughs> this is cat battles. Yeah, it's cat stream now. He's still looking for treats. She's going to smell him. There you go. Do you want to be nice together? You going to go this way? All right, he's done. He knows there's no more. All right. No, don't settle in. We got things to do. <laughs> uh, she's looking at you, chat. <laughs> Come here. All right, come on.
I'm gonna lay down. Go ahead. See? Look at her just hunger down. <laughs> it's lap time. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Was he in control of his body? Asked Darkin. It's about, about car share. Do, 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 do. Wish we had those caddy modes now. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. I'll commission it as soon as I can. We still got to decide what we want to do for tier three with theme. Why the hell do I have to fight you guys? The hell? All right, here we go. Boom, boom. Boom, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, he's yellow. They're both yellow, okay. 8-bit or the cosplay emotes? I think I can run with that and come up with ideas. Honestly, I like the cosplay idea. Like, cosplay as characters from our favorite, you know, franchises that I've streamed. That would keep it within the community, you know? And still be useful for those big-time Tier 3 subs. I think that's a pretty good idea. Uh, Alright. Let's go. Oh, she's got the evasion. Holy hell, did you see that? The triple dodge. Fuck yeah. <laughs> she ain't messing around. He's not going to be good here because he's not equipped for this. Yo, what's up, Harry? How are you? Gaming is going well, yeah. This is a lot. This game's always fun. Okay, he's gonna hit like a truck, apparently. He's already weakened. Holy hell. Tornado. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's try a tornado. Oh, look at that. We are cleaning up. Can't remember your password and seeming locked yourself out of the account. Oh, dude. Okay. Well, welcome back, man. I hope you've been well. Fraser. Thunderstorm. This will hurt and look badass in the process. It actually wasn't too bad. <laughs> All right. I'm cool. Your hairy branding is on point. Fair enough. No, no. Oh, wow. Well, that was pretty easy. I think I was supposed to be here a lot earlier, wasn't I? Cure two denodrites. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Grunt learned Axiomatic. Great. Listen to me. I did not kill Dario. Another time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. I hope you understand. So, Grump, I've come to an understanding after that battle we just had. You are not an evil person. You would never kill your best friend. Please forgive us. 
Looking back now, you were the one who took us under your wing, even though we were Dragoon outcasts. You were very special to us, Sir Grump. We believe you, Sir Grump. We must be on our way, but we hope to see you again sometime, somewhere. When that time comes, we hope you will be readily ready to tell us what really happened. And, and we're sorry we took this from you. We're shaking it back to you. Memento pendant. Fuck yeah. He did kill Dario. Did he? Or did the Mazamoon? I could have done it prior to Chronopolis. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go back to Dario. I don't know why we're doing this, but whatever. What else? Uh, this way? This way. This way. Ooh. Pimento pendant. Yo, I like pimentos. I still have a lap cat. This is great. I like having lap cats. Tell me how I was supposed to know to do this. Reg. Like my cut? You mean the haircut? Hey, Hudy, how are you today? Good to see you too. Got a lot of folks stopping in. Late game, late night. We had a power flicker, so I probably lost half my viewers. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I'm having a good time with all of you. Thank you everyone for sticking around. I know that happens. Like the lurkers tend to just get booted off somewhere. You have to see Dario, remember Dario and Riddle's history. And bring Riddle, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, if he was literally possessed, I'm with Darkens there. Like, I don't feel like this is one of those, like, yo, I had too many drinks kind of things, you know? You're responsible for that because you chose it. They found the Mazamoon and they didn't know that it was going to possess their body, you know? I think it's different. God, I hope they didn't remove all from someone else. Okay, we're good. Most of you are still here. I know, Seamus, but when you lose your connection, a lot of lurkers get like auto-hosted off somewhere. That's just what happens. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they chose to leave. I'm saying like they, they were lurking and they just get yeeted off somewhere. Oh, the music never stops being good. Used to be forced to eat pimento cheese sandwiches. I mean, if you're forced to eat something yeah, it's probably going to sour your taste on it, isn't it? I remember you told me why you you, you had a history of why that's true. So you probably don't like pimentos anymore. <laughs> it probably reminds you of some uncomfortable times for yourself. Do, 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 do. do, 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 do. Sorry, I had an important DM I needed to respond to. Thanks for your patience. I like, I do enjoy pimento, like pimentos, especially in like olives, but I can imagine it being a reminder of tougher times. So yeah. You like pimento cheese, but only when it doesn't have really big chunks. Yeah. Yeah, same. Hey, Mog, you want to hang out? Moggy's going to come hang out. Yeah. Oh, he's... I really like this. Let me show you this, folks. Little, another little minor 
minor diversion. Like, this is new for me and all of us, okay? Like, he never used to do this. Mog, please don't lay on that. <laughs> like, he's getting comfortable just hanging out now. And he used to be, like, whenever I was live, he would not be seen the entire eight hours. And now he's getting more comfortable. It was really nice. Hey, little guy. What are you doing? Give you some head rubs? Yeah? I'm just gonna play with stuff now. I know the camera angle isn't exactly professional, but I just wanted to show you Mog just likes to plop down on the desk sometimes now. It's really cool. And he just like never used to be seen anywhere around when we first got him for months and months. You know, we've had him for about a year now. Um, he's getting comfortable. You know, he's starting to take ownership of the place and getting comfortable with us. See? He looks pretty relaxed, doesn't he? That's nice to see. It's nice to see him relaxed and not, like, trying to murder my hands. You being a good boy, Mog? All right. You being a good boy. He's got a really nice coat, doesn't he, Seamus? Guess how many cats you have. <sighs> Oh man, I don't have any idea. <laughs> That's a tough question. Okay, I mean, it could be uh, like the way you phrased it, I would say either zero or like eight. You know, like it's going to be either nothing or tons. One of your parents' cats was a runty thing. He's the same size as your corgi. You have 11 cats. Wow. That's got to be a handful. Where are you going, Mog? All right. I got to go to the other world, don't I? Yeah, 11's a lot of cats. That's that's a lot of work. That's like a full-time job. <laughs> you know, that's like how many cats you got, Darkens. Or did you used to have a lot? What about the rest of you in chat? Do you have pets or did you used to have pets? Would you have pets now? Or I think it's nice when people can have pets when they want them, you know? But I also understand there's people that don't have pets either because, you know, they don't live in a place that lets them or... You know, they just don't have the money for it or it's too much responsibility and they're too busy. There's always reasons, you know, there's always good reasons. Three adult cats, 14 cats, four kid cats. It's a lot of kittens, man. You've had that many at one time before? Wild. You have one cat, two dogs, and two turtles, Oni. Tengu has two dogs. What kind of dogs do you have, Tengu? Oni, what kind of uh, dogs do you have? Like, Mog is just a domestic short hair, which is just fancy phrasing for mutt, you know? They're all outside. Ah, okay. Yeah, that'd do it, right? My cats are both indoor cats. I don't, I don't really feel comfortable having outdoor cats in a city, you know, like, or even a suburb. There's too many cars, too many chances for them to get in trouble, you know, in a bad way. So it's just safer to keep them inside. It's a different story. Like if I was in a situation like Harry or someone else where like, you know, I live somewhere and a cat just starts from outside somewhere, just starts hanging out all the time. That would be like an outdoor cat. You know, I wouldn't would try to confine it. But since Mog and Lickety both came from shelters, they're not really going to work out outside, you know? So it's really a different story. It just depends on where the cat comes from. The amount has gone on over the years. Got gotcha, you, man. You trying to keep it more sane now? Less cats, less, less trouble? You have English Springer Spaniels. I don't know what those are, Tengu. Cats used to have a poodle, no pets now, you're allergic. Yeah, you're not ready for the extra responsibility. No, that's really cool that you recognize that. 
I know there's a lot of people, and I see this, they want a pet, they get one, and then they realize after the fact that they weren't ready. And a lot of times those, you know, poor animals get rehomed, and that's sad. You know, it has to be done, but, yeah. Oh, wow, Dark Blade, that's depressing. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, you have a Chihuahua, Lundea, 14. Whoa, that's a lot. That's pretty old for a dog, isn't it? Yeah, you can link to an image of him, Tanku. That's fine. Your boy, You and your boyfriend travel too much having a pet. It makes sense. Oh, I was supposed to bring Riddle. Man, I'm all over the place. You don't think you can go back to not having a pet of some kind? Same. And I think cats really work best for me because of my more, I would say, indolent lifestyle. And I'm not trying to say that in a negative way. But I'm not an active person, so I couldn't have like a freaking husky or, you know, or a border collie. It just never would work. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> uh, what's up, Night Sister? Do, 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 do. You have a Pomeranian and a Chihuahua mix that's about as big as your cat. And fat and some kind of short haired mutt. Not even sure. Fair enough. Oh, here we go. Sad music. We're going to look at pictures of animals after the music. been together since we were little and we'll continue to be I'll always be there for you wow Dulce run wait a minute I didn't give her any gear <laughs> uh, did I save no I don't think so I could just run no don't touch him it's the magic man Oh, if I have to fight, we're in trouble. Don't touch the sword. And he grabs it. What a dumbass. My sword thirsts for your blood. I knew it! The Mesmer never actually disappeared from Death Gate. It just returned to its rightful owner. That means Dario's still... What really happened? I thought Dario died fighting demons on the Isle of the Damned. No, I did not think it would lead to a boss. <laughs> uh, I didn't give her any gear, no. Is that the Mazamune? What's it doing here? What do you think you're doing? Wow. Death to all living creatures. Cool. The animations in this are so good. You thought it was a Super Nintendo game? No, Chrono Trigger was. This is the sequel. Chrono Trigger is the Super Nintendo game, widely regarded as better. This right here is the sequel on PlayStation 1. Kill me, Crump! Hurry! Yo! Do it, Crump! I'll sell. used to pronounce that sword's name as Mesa Mune. I'm sure I said it wrong to Commander Keen. Like, it's Masa Mune, right? I think. <laughs> Something like that. It's a Japanese, like, legendary sword or, or swordsmith or something like that. Let the Mazamune sate itself in Dulce's blood. Uh oh. He did strike him down. 
So Grump wasn't actually possessed. Dario was. Oh, the plot thickens. Mog, what are you doing? Now he's just knocking stuff off the desk. You, quit being a little scamp. Go on, lay down, just relax. Bye, Lorelana. Hopefully the new chair's working out. <clears throat> the evil legendary service of Muramasa, maybe. In your dream last night, you were a super cool retro gaming store and you saw this game, but on Dreamcast. Interesting. <laughs> Are you willing to tell Tulsa that you murdered Dario because he was possessed by the evil sword? Do not worry. Do as I say and everything will be just fine. Fate picked up the Mazumune. Oh, that's a weird implication. Now I understand. Dario was possessed by the enmity of the Mazumune too. Prepare yourselves. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. It's funny time. Oh, why did they change the music? Japan, the sword, and frogs in Chrono Trigger are called the Granlian. I see. Yeah, I need to change my team. <laughs> uh, if it lets me. If it lets me. It might. Be right back. <laughs> oh, it won't let me leave. <sighs> oh, I can't leave. All right. We got to use snake girl. We got to use snake girl. All right, snake girl. Um, stamina ring, yeah, sure. Dancing shoes, okay, whatever, let's go. Elements, allocate, auto allocate, this is Tulsa only. GG, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Doo -doo. Have to use strongest magician in the main game. Feels, yeah. Was the memento pendant an accessory? Was it? Hold on. <laughs> Uh. Oh, that's interesting, Lunde. I want to look at the pet pictures, but we're kind of in a boss battle right now. Oh, there it is. Proves magic defense. Sure. Why not? Yeah, Gertha, how are you? All right, here we go. Donk. Oof, she's very weak. Just trying to get element, though. 
Ooh. Well, this is going swimmingly. Jesus. What the hell? Did you see how much damage he did to her? Uh. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, we're in a bad spot right now, aren't we? Eighty. Oh, jeez. All right. Excuse me. Seven hundred damage. How am I supposed to fucking do this? <laughs> what the fuck? Conductor rod. All right. Oh, good. My brain just got impaled by a sword. Yeah. You're telling me I was supposed to do this next. Are you fucking kidding me right now? All right, how do I reload? There we go. This is not what we're doing. I don't care. That guy can one shot anyone on my team with no problem. Like it's not happening. All right, I don't know the last time I saved. I honestly don't have a clue, so whatever. My El Nido triangle. Okay, why? There's people fishing. A mysterious object, but there's a nasty monster guarding it. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Shit. There was treasure right there. Boom, boom. Can I beat it? Maybe. Not right now, I can't. That thing was doing like 700 damage a hit. I probably have to be way stronger to kill it. There are no bosses I fought in this game yet that hard. Frozen? Now nah, we good. Ow! I didn't realize there was multiple enemies here. Yeah, we don't need to fight these either. Do, do, do. Miguel is hard? Not as hard as that. Holy shit, a rainbow shell. Miguel was easier than that. Oh, man. This is like the ASMR area. Listen. Every time I go here, I have to listen. You could fall asleep to this. Crazy. It sounds like it's underwater. There's a spaceship down here. <laughs> what the? 
Okay. <laughs> Whatever those things are there too. Looking for treasure, you know me. Where do we get by that thing? There we go. Is there treasure down there? No, but that, uh, yes, okay. Well, what is that? Let's fight it. How am I breathing underwater? I don't know. Oh, another retro thing. Oh my God, it's like the third one. Royal Jelly. All right, let's get it. Or miss again. Please stop missing everything ever. Zero. All right, well, let's build up element and nuke it, I guess. Uh, Taco Bell, reverse Taco Bell. There we go. That worked pretty good. I consider that a success. Dude, Dini. Try flying arrow. Maybe no, maybe like certain elements only work on it. Damn. We might need fire only on this. That's what I'm feeling here. We gotta kind of test the uh, waters here. Um, let's do, um, yeah. I played Baldur's Gate 2. Yeah. I'm like 2000. When was it? 2001? Yeah. I played it like for a whole summer in 01, I want to say something like that. Turn green. Would that make it weak to yellow? Turn yellow. Would that make it weak to green? She's blue though, right? So. Hmm. I don't think anything she has is going to hurt it. At all. Like she's actually pretty useless right now. She's not good in this fight. She has nothing usable right now. You're fighting losing battle sleep. Hey man, thanks for hanging out, Darkens. Hope you have a good rest. Well, there's gate two is pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't stream it, but it's pretty good. Games like that are like terrible for a stream environment because they're so text heavy and really hard for a viewer to follow unless they've already played the game.
Yeah, BG3, I do too. It's got potential, but it just felt like I was playing like Dragon Age sort of, or I don't know. I don't know. Like it was, you know, it was the pre-release, so I can't really judge anything on it. Turn red. See what happens. All right, he's now red, technically, right? Well, she still damages it really well. She's fire, so it makes sense, right? All right, since he's technically red now, let's try a blue attack. He's blue and red, though. She's trying the drunken fist. Zero. Yeah, it didn't work. All right. Turn black. Yeah, I don't really like gimmick fights in RPGs. Not my favorite. Uh, defend. All right. Just have her build up element again. Or miss. You, since he turned it black, right? See if white hurts it. Oh, it, you can only make it a secondary element. So he's no longer blue and red, he's blue and black. Doesn't work. All right, so the turn elements do nothing here. All we can do is red, red, that's it. Gaming fights are very annoying, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. I'm just gonna have her do all the damage because it doesn't look like it attacks. You notice that? It wasn't attacking us. Weird, actually. Salamander. Yo, let's do that. Why did it exit the menu? Stop doing that. Let's do a salamander on it. Why not? Let's see what happens. I have five infernos. Okay, so I can give some to him. Saints. Yeah, that's not gonna work. What was, um, what are you saying, Reg? I don't get it. What are you trying to say? Okay. Let's go. There's more red damage now. Yeah, what's up, Juker? How are you tonight? Did you finish your, uh... Your Wii punch out challenges. All right, build up elements. You did it, it was satisfying. Hell yeah, dude. You love to see it. Mm. 
Volcano. There we go. We're just going to use nothing but red elements here. I think that's the way to go. What have you missed tonight? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you tell me, man. What was the last time you were here? I don't know how to answer that. Numble? Oh, come on. I had a bunch of red elements. We're trying to get Salamander going here. Is it a trick question? Yes, it's always a trick question when someone asks the streamer, what did I miss? Every time. Because we don't have a surveillance network set up in everyone's rooms. So we don't know when they were lurking or hanging out last. <laughs> so yes, you did ask a trick question. That's correct. Stuff happened, yeah. We've 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 run into a wall of progression and an optional bosses. Maybe I don't know if they're optional. To be honest, I have no idea. They kind of feel like they are, but I don't know. I don't actually know. Uh, I beat a giant tower of exposition called Chronopolis. That was kind of cool. Let's do weaken on him. The Chronopolis was very cool. We got some really interesting story implications out of it. No, don't turn red. Damn it. Well, this didn't work the way I wanted it to. Can I do anti-blue on it? <laughs> uh, yo, Commander Keen, thank you for hanging out. Oh, she needs... Hold on. All right. Do one. Salamander, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's see what this does. That's a big boy. What the fuck? <laughs> 1680? <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck? fuck was that? That was awesome. Yo, look at Pants getting two strength. What a beast she is. Hey, Tammy finally got magic. All right. Got a resistance belt. All right. That was kind of absurd how much damage that did. Okay. One open. This is Peekman ship. We have to bring Peekman here. Oh, please don't make me fight that again. That'd be hilarious, actually. Hopefully not, though. 
Wow, these look mean. Can I just not fight them? It's not so much that I think they're going to be hard. I just think they're going to be a waste of time. So I'm not really interested in fighting these regular enemies. Oh, it won't let me through. I can't believe how much damage that did to that thing. That is an unreal amount of damage. Very impressive. All right, this thing needs to move. Not towards me. Oh, it's like tracking me, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Should be able to sneak by it up here. There's room. There we go. Voila! <laughs> it's just a little tiny fish. It's like, yo, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Like, uh, <laughs> I want to find you. The fact I have to come back here with a character that's not optimized. Yeah. 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 Well, well, we're not going to fight these. That's basically it. We're going to enjoy the music. Do we watching tunes? All right, go upstairs. Exit the triangle. Peakman, who has not very good stats. I wonder, like, if you use a character, do they get better stats? Is that what happens? Or is it just luck? Because, like, when we got Nikki back, his stats were through the roof. You know, and we hadn't used him in a long time. So I'm kind of wondering how that actually plays out. Everyone levels? Of course they do. But that doesn't... That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking how the, what governs their stat growth. Like, I don't know if it's set or if it's, like, full RNG or moderate RNG, like Earthbound. Like, Earthbound is, like, semi-RNG levels. You get ranges of stats in Earthbound, but then when you hit certain thresholds, it has, like general strengths that it expects you to have in certain stats and if you're it thinks you're behind it'll boost you the hell up <clears throat> oh my god that was a cute noise peak was shipping this world got broken peakman am happy it's mostly rng but you can get bonus stats in your main party members with mini stars okay what's a mini star <clears throat> Peakman ship creates special force field. Peakman think in other world. Peakman ship is in pieces and parts are buried. Okay. It opened. Cool. Nice. Do, 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 do. Peakman's bed is nice and cozy. Cozy? He said cozy. <laughs> Can this take us to Terror Tower? Uh, only big enough to fly Peekman. We're inside of it right now. Lickety, no. What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> it's 
standing right in front of the monitor. Kitty, come on. Come over here. Come here. Let's go. You're being a cute little nuisance. You're being a cute little nuisance. Why don't you lay down or something? Do, do, do. Scrounge up more stuff. Pikmin will come back later. Okay. What's this? Anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly. Oh. Neat. Mini stars are another stat. Sack gains you'll get after fighting a few times after your last star battle. Oh. There was a dock inside of Chronopolis. There was, wasn't there? Sammy's here. Now we're suddenly in Chronopolis. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are here now. We live here. Speak with the desert dat. Pew, 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 pew. You know, they never explained why the NPCs here were ghosts. We need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. Pants doesn't understand. Peekman am done. All you did was load it on the boat. <laughs> uh, okay. Ready? Yes. Sure. Just want to get in my boat. That's all. It's kind of neat, though. Did we just get a flying boat? This is my tail, Lickety. <gasps> cutscene! Cutscene, chat. Cutscene. FMV cutscene. Our boat is flying. Oh, that's freaking cool. Two moons. Huh. I don't remember this at all. I don't want to go here yet. I just wanted to... Yeah. You know. We didn't even talk to Kid yet. <laughs> Yo, we need to leave here right now. Scarpy jeans? Is that how we say it? Scarpy jeans? Kind of rolls off the tongue. This kind of reminds me of the Black Omen a little bit. You can't do Kid until you do Dario first. Oh. Well, we have to get her. That's like a re story requirement. Oh, is that nice kitty cat? Hello, little kitty. All right, let's go somewhere with music so we can look at these pet pictures finally. I don't know how we're supposed to do that Dario fight, though. The dude hits me for 800. It's kind of broken. <laughs> All right. So... I'm supposed to fight Dario, apparently. Which just seems like an impossible battle. Obviously it's not, but it seems like I should be way higher level to do it, so I don't really understand. Good old kitty. Who's the nice kitty? Got some cat company right now. Um, make sure that people are unequipped. I'll take that stone vest.
make sure that they don't have stuff equipped. All right. Check if I have the memento pendant. Okay. Uh, yes, it's right there. Allocates, we'll just fill blanks. Not gonna lie, I basically have no strategy in mind for this boss. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do on something that hits you for 800. Stravicide is not getting one shot. I don't have any characters that are even close to level damage he does, so I'm not really understanding this. Uh, I could try debuffs, maybe? I guess? But even that wouldn't really reduce it enough. Like, doing weaken on him wouldn't reduce it enough to... Still survive the hit. Oh shit. Forgot. One sec. I gotta give his stuff back. Where are you going? Oh. Chrono Cross, what the fuck? Long lost element of seventh color attribute. Oh. Okay. Neat. That was not expected. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's an element. Uh, wild. Yeah, it's total na it's title drop, right? <sighs> Guy was the PS1 all along. Yeah, that's it. Bang Angeloon, Dan. Will always be an ally. I don't know what to give him. I don't want to give him anything, really. I never really use level 8 elements. Where's my... What did I have here? What did I just do? It just disappeared, whatever I did. Okay, it's there now. This is very confusing. Do, do, do. What did I have here? I have no idea. This is mighty confusing. Do, 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 do. I guess I had Inferno there. But really, I don't know. Let's just go say hi, see what happens. Whatever I had there obviously did not matter because I was never using it. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Oh, wrong world. <laughs> Come on. 
All right. I can... Ne Somebody asked me, I think it was yesterday, which world my favorite was. I didn't have an answer. Because I can never remember what world has what in it. There's no answer to that. Because I'm never going to remember the differences. Do -do 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 Send an edibles arrangement? That's a good idea. I like this idea. Let's do that. Let's do the edibles arrangement. Maybe he'll get tickled by that. You don't know. Maybe it'll snap him out of his possession. That'd be pretty cool. Send him some edibles? I want to try those, actually. My favorite world is Cat World. I like this theme right here. This is awesome. Boat your boat! It's my banana boat. <coughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that was like a punch in the head. Holy hell. Woo. You ever hear those sneezes? It just feels like you got socked. Man. Welcome back, Cass. Doing peachy. Say hi to Cassie, chat. Someone says hi to you, you should say hi back. We're gonna have to have a little talk, you and me, chatters. All right? <laughs> we have to have a little talk. We're gonna work on these manners around here. The parallel dimension in Sun and Moon does not exist since it does nothing with it. I never played that one. I'd like to. I didn't realize that that's, that was the gimmick. That's really cool. Please don't torment him. Okay. You got it. Here. I have a memento pendant that you don't seem to care about. It's only there for you to cosmog? What is a cosmog? Sorry, I was trying to see if I could skip this since we already saw it. Do, 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 do. Your brain is melting? Same. Poor, the poor maid. She just got yeeted. Cosmog. Is that a Pokemon? Kind of looks like a Pokemon. Cosmog's a legendary. Got it. Okay. The last Pokemon game I played was Black 2, and it was good. Channel points are definitely lost minutes of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. You get a lot of them. It's a legendary that evolves. Oh, that's new, right? The last Pokemon game you played is yellow. That's a good pick right there. I guess we got to see all these cutscenes again. Sorry. Good. 
Do 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 do. So first thing I'm gonna do here when it comes time. I have a we could call it a strategy, I suppose. That I'm gonna try that's probably not gonna work, but I have a Sneaking suspicion, maybe there's something there. So I'm gonna try it. Cosmog evolves into Cosmome and then into Solgolo or Lunala. Oh, okay, cool. That's that's wild. Jokes on y'all. Sometimes stream so chill. Sometimes you get sleep while working. Dude, I do that all the time. Like when I raid somebody after my stream. I'll hang out for 30, 60 minutes, and then I'm just, like, dozing off. <laughs> and I'll wake up, and I'll have been, you know, shuffled off to another channel from a raid. No, 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 no. What is fool's gold? No, oh, damn. It's a ROM hack? Ah, okay. Oh, I didn't see Juker say that. It was Fool's Gold, ROM hack of Crystal Gen 2, where it changed all the typings in interesting ways and rebalanced. Mm. Mm. I want to try Radical Red because uh, it has all eight generations of Pokemon in Fire Red and a built-in randomizer. It sounds really fun. All right. Now... Can't just run. We have to settle this. No, we don't. Cast off the darkness. Sure. Damn it. All right. My idea has already failed. Well, that was my whole strategy was to try to talk to people. <laughs> that was it. That's all I got. I got nothing else. Sorry. <clears throat> That's it. That's all I had. That's all I had. I didn't have any other ideas. I don't have to tell you. What if we just don't attack him and let him kill us? Oh, yeah. He's fucking us up. Yeah, he's going to win. All right. Yeah, like, what are you supposed to do with that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Weird. Do I wanna know? No. Alright, all right, whatever. Defensive spell, it's not gonna work. The damage is too high. <sighs> I said no, Shad. No means no. 
All right. Um, maybe anti-black will work on him. Let's try that. Let's try anti-black. Maybe we can stop him from doing stuff. What the hell? Oh, that looks familiar. I think I know what that is. Okay. It's because I had the Chrono Cross equipped, I think. I don't think it has anything to do with this fight. Fuck. Is it like an item I need to equip? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? <clears throat> he one shots everyone on the team. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. No, I don't have any strategies. I don't have any ideas here. I'll probably just look it up tomorrow or something. Accept your sword. Sure. Boink. <laughs> 42. It was terrible. Oh, she's dead. Six ninety nine. Numble. This guy with the numble over here. Look at this guy with the numble. Um, what do I want to do here? I don't know. She doesn't really have anything useful. Weaken? Maybe we could stack it. <laughs> he's doing Numble again. I think he's countering. And he's countering every element. Ice Blast. Oh, boy. Jeez, this guy sucks. Wow. This guy sucks. Yo, Blau, how's it going? No, oh, somebody else is dead now. That was with Weakened times two. He did 684. Yeah, the buffs don't work at all on him.
Oh, he did weaken on her, so she sucks now. Uh, 87. Well, that was weak for some reason. All right, whatever. Oh, that's going to mess her up. Ow. <laughs> Ow, jeez. Fun. That was a fun fight. <laughs> fun. Okay. Yay. I guess that's a game over. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs>